there? Yeah, we are. Oh shit! On the last episode, I forgot to do soy face. You did forget to do. We can record soy face after and cut it in. Okay, so right now you're watching the first episode actually, and I'm gonna do soy face, and then it's gonna jump into. Oh, and then it's gonna jump. Yeah, yeah. Do it. Okay, do soy face but real quick. Then that means I'm gonna have to do soy face again for the Patreon. You got to do two soy faces. Just in do a row. them right now. Just double. Which them if up. you if you do them twice in a row, you might die from shame. <laughs> Whoa, new studio. Oh, new. Wow. Can't believe we're about to record the main app right now. New era. <laughs> new era. Watch us adjust to a new studio. <laughs> we're adjusting. We're adjusting. Kind of nervous about it. Not sure how this is going to go. <laughs> yeah, sounds good. I'll, uh, I need to get those covered somehow, and then I'm going to put something over that, and then I'm going to get a light for Jace. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, we're, this is pretty much it. And then we're going to get a uh, Chris Dorner poster, I think. Yep. Nice. Really? Yeah. That should be good. <sighs> Sorry, I'm opening my uh, Peruvian soda. Your Inca Cola? <laughs> yeah. That is... Did you, did you hear that fizz? That's the uh, that's the Latin in it. <laughs> you hear that? That's, that's an R being rolled out of there. Yeah. There's that pee pee. Look at that <laughs> that Parkinson's pour. <laughs> that is the the wrist mobility of somebody w- drinking that soda. <laughs> yeah, you got the you yeah. got the cane sugar jitters. Yeah, that that soda comes with a free wrist brace, so you can pour it. <laughs> Remember that period of time when when the Coke started releasing their cokes, their Mexican cokes, where it's like with cane sugar in it, mm-hmm. and people kind of started acting like it was healthy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they were like, "No, it's the good Coke." Right. It's, it's pure. It's right. pure. They're like, it's from the earth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, cane is a plant. <laughs> Look at that. That is disgusting. <laughs> that really is. <laughs> that really is. I, I said that looks like a train <laughs> crashed into some yeah, water. that looks like the Ohio spill. <laughs> You're just drinking oh. the water. You're going to grow an extra eye. The only way I can describe its taste mm-hmm. is yellow. It... <laughs> That's the only way to describe it. It, it. it looks like you drink it and it's going to like rot through you. It's like a pineapple Mountain Dew, I guess. Yeah. It's like the blood in Alien. It'll just rot through your whole body. Yeah, it is. It's just kind of yellow. I don't it's, really know what it is. It's, it's the it's the food dye. Sweet food dye. It's yeah. great. I would love if this was some elaborate point. Ben carbonated his own piss to get us both to drink it. <laughs> I'm about to do something called... Uh, well, we got to invent the word for it. What? What? It's a, um, it's like a retard's beverage. I'm about to. Oh, instead of an Arnold Palmer. Oh, mm, yeah. yeah, yeah. It has to be like it. Has, it's a Gary Busey. <laughs> You're doing a it's Busey. Half, it's half Coke Zero, half Inca Cola. It's mm-hmm. a suicide. <laughs> it's when you get every flavor of soda at the fountain and then you kill yourself. <laughs> One of these a day, and you won't hit the age of 35, my friend. <laughs> Who doesn't love tumors? <laughs> yeah, you. But this gives you tumors. You know how old dogs get? Uh, yeah, they, they get, get hunchbacks, lumps. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that are squishy. Yeah. yeah, you get one of those tumors. You're mm. saying that turns your, the insides of your body into a basketball that's been sitting out in the sun, <laughs> and it gets all those lumps. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that gives you a tumor so big. TLC starts giving you phone calls, mm. and they go, "How would you like your name up in lights?" Yeah, that soda will make you a star, kid. Mm. Yeah. TLC is measuring your tumor like it's a high school basketball recruit. <laughs> they're like, they're like Ben Avery out in uh, West Valley. He's got a five star tumor, uh, 46, uh, 40 cent swing span. Mm. <laughs> He's refusing chemo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you, you are like the dog at a party bombing everybody out. Mm, yeah. like you, you kind of float into the room with this giant mm-hmm. volleyball on the side of you. And you're like, Hey guys. And everyone's like, he's he looks pretty fat. They're like, no, no, no. When he's wet, he's like a lot skinnier looking. Just... Those dogs, uh, they always they walk in rooms. People go, oh my god, what a cute! And then it turns, <laughs> and they go, oh no, yeah, oh what happened? Yeah. It's it's like a Warner's Brothers reveal. Mm. Like it turns, and then you just oof, yeah, like the fish in SpongeBob when they're really skinny and they turn <laughs> one way and they're fat. Yeah, and then people try to go, oh no, but it's it doesn't, it's not weird at all. And then they pet, <laughs> they, they like they're you're like you're hovering your hand over the fur. You're not even touching the dog. No, 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 because no, you're afraid your nail will pop it. 
and then a bunch of like radioactive <laughs> cancer goo will right. fly out Spy- of your dog. Spiders come out of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I remember one of our relatives. We like went over for Christmas, and they had like they have a bunch of dogs, and we were like, "Hey, Rusty, you know Patches," and they were like, "Oh my god." <laughs> And there came a dog, like literally another dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the side of its back, <laughs> and the whole time you have it's to. It's mitotically like, like uh, making another one. Yeah, of it, itself. Look, it looks like two cells dividing. Yeah, it's and like we, stuck on you. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, I yeah. forgot about that. Movie. And then you have to be like, "Hey, wow, that's not fucked up at all." <laughs> Keep it alive yeah. forever. You turn to them, you go, "That should not be put down." I think. Well, th- then they go, they go, "Oh, it's 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 fine. It's mil- it's malignant." <laughs> Or no, wait. What's the one that's good? Uh, <laughs> what's the one that's good? Benign. benign. They go. Yeah. It's benign. It's fine. Mm-hmm. I'm like, okay. Well, this has to hurt. Yeah. And it, the it, dog tries to go through the doggy door and like <laughs> rips half of it off. <laughs> yeah, uh, Emma had one of those on her ass, and I got it removed. But it it I stopped. It got, it was small, mm-hmm. and I I said if it's if it's this size, it's fine. Because it was like this big. Mm-hmm. Right. And as soon as it grew in twice its size, I did the right thing. You gave yourself a limit. Like For a, sure. Like how gamblers do. Yeah, because yeah. it's it's a it's rude to guess. It's just mm-hmm. not okay to, to let people look at if it gets too big. You <laughs> That's gotta, why I don't even care for the dog. It's more about the optics. I'm it's, like, stop bumming me. Mm-hmm. People even with like, it's like, you know, if you have money and you still have like a big mole, it's like, get that thing removed. Yeah. Jesus. And I'm kidding, but not really. No, I know what you mean. No, you're, <laughs> you, you're, know? you are right. By, by right. the way, uh, I didn't know the tumor on Emma was benign, mm-hmm. That, but that's just why I told everybody. Right. I said it's benign. It's fine. You so said they don't get all bummed out. You did one of those surgeries where you go to the doctor. You go, I don't care what it is. Don't spend the extra money to test it. Just cut it out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if it grows back, we'll shoot her. I don't know. Uh, but they, they uh, I, I did the right. It, it's expensive, though, because you don't have insurance on your dog. Mm-hmm. It was like $700 to get this thing taken out. Can of you it. take out life insurance on your animal and then kill it and then like reap the reward? I think <laughs> I think if it's famous, right? Can you do like an Alec Murdoch thing and like <laughs> kill all your dogs? Is that what that guy did? Yeah. He killed his whole family. Killed his whole family. Yeah. yeah. To get the insurance policy. Yeah. Something I, like that. I started, killed his maid too. I started following really? it like four years ago and he just kept killing people and I just got bored because he 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 never like threw in a, a curveball. He just kept killing people. It's a never ending saga. Mm. Like the last 40 years. It's just like if you're around him, he, it's like Anton Chigurh. Like you're just in trouble. <laughs> mm-hmm. And he's getting a little too like Southern cocky about it too. Mm-hmm. He was like, I can kill anybody in this damn town. I don't give a shit. <laughs> it was, I'll kill the maid too. Who cares? I'll kill the goddamn maid. <laughs> he's like, all right, I killed my family. The maid doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Your Honor, I'll admit it, but do not. Fucking send me to jail for a Mexican woman. Do not charge me for the maid. No, no, that was they were. It was uh, the the type of southern poverty where like the maid was just like a like a hillbilly. It counted like, as a third. It was like the water boys. Like mom was their maid. <laughs> oh, that yeah. Maybe. They, yeah. They identified her body by her tooth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Devin, can you lean a little bit forward? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not used to the new chair I got yet in the state yeah. sale. We got it. We got like leaning back. Yeah. We got a smaller space and a much bigger TV, which I think is very funny. Oh, yeah, Look yeah. that beauty. Yeah. Which we will be using on the Patreon to cover the Will and Dawn uh, European extravaganza. Yeah, we were going to do it on the main, but then we Googled the word targeted harassment. <laughs> and we realized what we're going to do on the Patreon is technically maybe illegal. <laughs> To do it a third time. We're so. going on like Google Maps Street View. We're like, there he is. <laughs> Get him. Yeah, Devin, what'd you say? This is like, it looks like the room where people get swatted from. Yeah, this looks like Ben just sits here and calls <laughs> the cops on people. Uh-huh. Yeah, like a 911 operator. Yeah. He's like, yeah, we got a retard in uh, Virginia. He's playing Call of Duty right now. If you could go in. Yeah. I'm just swirling my uh, my Gary Busey. Uh. It, looks, it looks somehow less healthy now, now that it's beat red. It looks like the original soda got cancer. <laughs> it's not, but it looks it looks healthy through the green glow. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Just a big glass of metastasized. <laughs> mm. uh-uh. Yeah, you've like mm. you've made DDT somehow. That would like make eagle eggs too thin. Yeah, you can kill weeds with this. <laughs> I yeah. spray this on your yard. My uncle Stan had this guy that helped him. This big, big fat guy. Inca Cola, everybody. 
Peruvian drink. And Sponsor I remember the pod. he told me he had he just had a giant tumor removed from his like like kidney. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, that's horrible. He was like, he was all shocked. He was like 35. And, and I was like, man, that's crazy. Uh, and then we started talking about soda. And he goes, yeah, I used to drink two, two liters of Coke every night. <laughs> I was like, well, I think you found the culprit there, buddy. Yeah. Like in bed. He's like a smoker. Yeah. Where it's like you can't even comprehend how he was drinking that much soda. I genuinely. You go, he had to take a sip every 10 seconds mm-hmm. he was awake. Yeah, it's like a vape. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Like, if you told me I had to do that for two years and get a million dollars, like, I don't know if I could do it. Dude, you, know? you couldn't do it, man. Yeah. So you couldn't do just, it. I genuinely think, like, this is worse for you than a pack of cigarettes. You'd destroy your gut biome. So you'd have you'd have chronic depression. You'd have crazy mood swings. Your estrogen would be, like, insane. You'd be like a pregnant woman. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You'd be flying off the handle all the time. Mm-hmm. Smothering your children. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. At least a pack of cigarettes, somebody will fuck you. Yeah, no like, one's ever drinking two liters of soda in a day and then came in. Yeah, a no one's ever said I drink two liters of Pepsi because it looks cool. <laughs> yeah, like, like a Ryan Gosling in Drive, yeah. but he's just he's just drinking, just outside of a concert with a leather jacket on, just yeah. downing a giant Mountain Dew, doing that fat guy move where he's just drinking out of the bottle, <laughs> where he's gotten so disgusting he's moved past cups. He's like, I ain't used a cup in since '08. <laughs> since '08. <laughs> Stop using cups after Obama <laughs> made them illegal. Obama made it illegal for white people to use utensils. Did well, you... it's also with, they go, with this soda, you can't pour it in a cup. It'll eat through it. <laughs> it's like lean. When you got a two cup it. They go, you only pour soda in a cup. You want to clean the cup. <laughs> <laughs> They're putting it in their dishwasher, like where the stuff's supposed to go. You could. You probably could, People yeah. have cleaned their toilets with Coke. That's actually true. And you true. hear it like fizz, and it's eating away the shit. Mm-hmm. You can clear <laughs> it's like, Wait, so it's if you clog your toilet, shit. you could pour Coca-Cola in it, and I it'll s- eat up the turd, and then I you would, can flush it? I would definitely try that. I'd, 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 I'd yeah. give it a shot. I'd love to be at a party, accidentally clog the toilet, and then just be like, well, I'm just going to grab a Coke out of the fridge. Mm. And see if this works. Yeah. <laughs> so now you've got a clogged toilet that's completely black in the bowl, and everybody's confused. Dude, never have I been happier though when we went out to eat and we ordered a bottle of soda for the table. Mm-hmm. For the for ben, the table. Ben, ben, literally, we were at a Peruvian restaurant, which I didn't know they. I didn't know there was Peruvian food, to be honest with you. And them. I didn't know what that was. Yeah, I didn't know what Peruvian food was going to be. It's like it's just meat and and potatoes, basically, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And they have like a different type of sauce. Right. Uh, they yeah. They'd bring out sauce. It's, One was green. It's kind of like like what if like Red Lobster was in Cuba? Right. Like that's Peruvian food. I think was there stuff on the menu called like Lomo Saltado stuff like that. Stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. Yucca. Yeah. Cactus. Yeah. There was octopuses. Yeah. They're selling like like you can eat like a tapestry. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they sell uh, those like weed smoker hoodies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The llama hoodies. <laughs> yeah, you just yeah. eat a Che Guevara hoodie. <laughs> Like we got a picture of a mountain you can eat. Yeah, we're eating a deep fried loot. <laughs> One of those things that guys play at the mall. I'm the gonna Peruvian go on, on a limb. The only Peruvian thing I know, I think, is Machu Picchu. Yeah, I which is a thing with steps. I was fifty fifty. <laughs> I was fifty fifty on whether Peruvian means from Peru or not. <laughs> If you I'm like it's like Persian. If but, you both confidently were yeah. like, no, it's from Peruvia, I'd be like, oh fuck, <laughs> damn it, I didn't know. But it is Peru, right? Mm, yes. Yeah. It's, yes. I know Machu Picchu just from women I've wanted to fuck in the past have Instagram photos where they visited. Machu they go to Machu Picchu and, and then there's it? like rainbows. And from what I can tell, you got to climb up it. It seems like a bunch of bullshit. It's yeah. a big staircase. Right? Yeah, I, I have no interest. I, yeah. It's it's yeah. a big like mountain, and there's the the characters from Rocket Power like walking around. <laughs> <laughs> There's like squished brown people, and they look, they look like they're they're in rocket power, mm-hmm. and they have the hats with the little tassels that come on either side. Mm-hmm. Um, but we go we go to the place, and this lady, the waitress, comes over. Ben texts. Ben goes to take a shed, and then he texts me. <laughs> Yeah, shit I'm like, hey, I gotta take a shit real quick, and I turn to the waitress. I'm like, "What y'all's Wi-Fi? I gotta take a shit." Yeah, <laughs> Ben. Ben walks in like a like a used car salesman from Texas. Ben's like, "I gotta make a floater." <laughs> y'all got Wi-Fi? Tell me it as I'm walking, sister, because yeah. it's coming out. Ben's walking to the bathroom. And he's taking his rings off. 
preparing for what's about so to happen. So don't lose a ring. What is yeah. that? You don't lose a ring in the toilet? Yeah, yeah. You hand K to your wallet. <laughs> you go, if I'm not Adam 50, you give me a call. Yeah. <laughs> Ma'am, Missy, what's the what's the password? <laughs> Come on, tell us a Come on, tell me. You're taking your belt off walking through. <laughs> oh, my dick's out. <laughs> my dick's dick falls yeah. out. I'm already p- yeah. I'm already pissing. Come on. You're a, you're an LBJ Texas guy. <laughs> yeah. Where you're just like, Come on, it's coming out of my bunghole, miss him. Miss him. You give me that Wi Fi password, there's gonna be hell mm. to pay. I love ordering a, a two liter of soda for the table like you're Tony Soprano. <laughs> well, that's what he texted. I wanted them to bring it out on ice, like yeah. it's champagne. <laughs> like in one of those little metal uh tubs. Yeah, your gay soda, sir. For the table. <laughs> But Ben Texas, he's like, order for the table, and then oh, I oh. said, after, I said, order a bottle of soda for the table, and please say it that way, right? And the lady didn't. I also wasn't going to do that, but the lady didn't come, and then she came up to you and was just like, "What do you like? What do you want?" <laughs> and then Ben was like, "Can I get a, a a soda for the table?" And she's like, "What? What the fuck?" <laughs> she's like, "What the fuck?" I think she literally went like, "So like Coke?" And he goes, uh, "The the soda, the big soda." And and I, <laughs> I pointed to another uh, like a Peru, I think a Peruvian family, uh-huh. and I go like, "I go no, you know like uh, I want, I wasn't gonna be like you know like the natives, <laughs> like how they do it." So then she finally she goes, "Oh, but you but she's looking at me up and down like, "Oh, you mayo ass." Mm-hmm. Cracker. Mm-hmm. Like she was like she turned into a a, a black woman. <laughs> yeah. She turned it, she turned into Tiffany Haddish all of a sudden. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh she she finally understood I wanted the the Inca Cola. Mm-hmm. I didn't want a Coca-Cola. Yeah. You should have just said you, uh, your most retarded soda, please. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Inca Cola made out of the grinded hearts of Mayans. <laughs> um yeah, and she brought it over and they had glasses and everything. And then I That's lovely. I took one of the worst shits of my life after drinking it. Yeah, I truly one I of the drank, worst. Because I, I drank like half of it. I drank half a cup and then drove home and my I was getting like heart pains on the way back. <laughs> I was like stuck in traffic on the 134. I was like, I might have to like get off the highway. No, this is like, uh, this, it's so bad for you. It's like anti venom, mm-hmm. where I feel like if you drink enough of this, you become an, an athlete. Yeah, yeah. If you drink that, you don't have asthma anymore. <laughs> yeah. They're better than American soda, though. Th- this is, this is, uh, this is like chemo. You keep handing this around like it's like the ring from the Lord of the Rings. <laughs> well, it's ins- like, it's insane. It I mean, look at it. It's like soda. It's, it's the also, golden cola. Right. It's also, you have to realize, Ben brought that from the restaurant. Oh, and I so brought like, it home with me. We, <laughs> it's very funny to put down like an like a metallic Amex card. Yeah. And mm-hmm. then be like, let's get out of here. And then just tuck, <laughs> tuck a soda under your arm. Because I have the platinum Amex. <laughs> Look them in the eye and go, I just moved into the neighborhood. <laughs> I'll yeah. be here to, often to go to go cling and then the metal hitting and then be like I'll be in the I'll be in the car, uh, sir. Y- did you bring that soda? We we charge an uncorking fee for all sodas <laughs> brought from outside the establishment. That should be your next move. Is you should go to regular restaurants and bring your own Inca Cola. Oh, dude. I mean, I don't know if there is such thing as a soda sommelier, mm. but I imagine it's like uh, the review bra. Do you know that guy? No. But I was about to say it's one of many retards you watch. There's plenty of soda yeah. sommeliers. Pull it, pull him up on the 85 inch TV screen. Yeah, the review. Bro, this guy's awesome. The review bra. Oh, oh this yeah. guy. Yeah, report of the week. Report guy? of the week. I love this guy. Yeah, he's a genius. Yeah, yeah. No one has a work ethic like him. Well, too. he he has. He has a, a really rough case of autism, and I <laughs> yeah. think the internet's just kind of exploiting it. Yeah. But. He does have so much autism, he looks like Steve Buscemi. <laughs> when you get so autistic, you look like a great character actor. Yeah. Yeah. He's got those Anya Joy Taylor fucking eyes. <laughs> I know where they're 18 inches away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but then she's hot. The hottest woman on earth. Her but eye it, is on the back of her head. Right. Yeah, she can't see if you come right in front of her like a cow. You can sneak right up on her just walking straight at her. He, uh, my favorite review of his is he had one. It was uh, he reviewed waters, so he had two waters and he compared the two. And I think it was uh, distilled water versus uh, alkaline. And then you just hey poured them in two like, huge wine glasses with really tall like wine stems. Mm. And then he was like swirling the water, and I think the review was like forty seven minutes long. Yeah. And just like yeah, in some <laughs> empty mansion that he's been abandoned in, and and somehow somehow it's like it was like it, 
everyone was like, skip to minute 27 if you want to see him finally try the water. <laughs> Like, he, he comes at it from every angle, like, is like, okay, so here's the backstory about when I went to the store to get the water first. He's, by the way, you know what he also does? He's like a shortwave radio king. So, he has his own, a shortwave radio station, where if you're, like, within, uh, like, 40 miles of his home, he's like that guy, uh, uh, Bill Cooper, the guy who got shot by the IRS, who was a shortwave radio guy in Arizona. Okay. Who wrote a Behold the Pale Horse. The guy who talked about Kennedy being killed and that he saw UFOs in oh, the Navy. Oh, yeah, I vaguely yeah, I remember that So guy. he would just record from his home, and you could hear it if you're driving, if you're trying to escape the town. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah one good. of those, like, pirate radio stations. Right, okay. Yeah. Where literally, like, he had a thing in his home where he would broadcast from his little, like, he had the coolest little incel uh, lab, too. Bill Co- I'll show you his right. setup because it was like super big. But you, you are right. If you were driving from Texas to California, you'd get 45 minutes of um, schizophrenic rambling that would just disappear. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Just yeah. saying, I know who killed uh, John F. Kennedy. And then just. Yeah, he was. Let me see if oh, I can yeah, find look, his room, though. He looks like uh, Bud Dwyer. He, he, a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. He was he was awesome, dude. He has great. Uh, he was kind of like Alex Jones before Alex Jones. Oh, oh, dude! This was wait. Here's the photo here. This is kicked so much ass. He got shot by the by like a sheriff. They you, they cornered his home because he wouldn't pay his taxes, uh-huh. and he died in some weird way. They all shot him. And That's him. awesome. I didn't know the IRS just unloads on you <laughs> if you owe them. <laughs> Yeah, the IRS does a drive-by. <laughs> he looks like a guy that's supposed to be killed in a Scorsese movie. Yeah, he looks like the sh- the schmuck they like strangle out yeah. of the back of a car. Yeah, he, he looks like Maury's, the Maury's <laughs> wig guy. Maury's <laughs> he looks like Joe Pesci's going to be like, I thought he'd never shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, his whole role in the movie is just to go, I need my money. <laughs> De Niro's like, he's been spreading disinformation. <clears throat> But yeah, that's I, him. They, but they killed him because he, he he knew the truth and he was becoming too powerful, frankly. So a, a fat right. sheriff in Arizona, probably Joe Arpaio's that, uh, dad, killed him. <laughs> that is also, I was going to say, how great the 80s were is that mm-hmm. everybody who either killed themselves on TV or got killed by the cops looked like that guy. Yeah, that is. That's every guy in the 80s that died. Mm-hmm. And he was 25. <laughs> <laughs> You know, our day and age, we have like Adam Lanza's, mm-hmm. Dylan Clayball, mm-hmm. like these young twinks doing yeah, killings. Yeah, guys that didn't even own belts. <laughs> this guy had a belt. Had to. Guys who get it, guys who are doing public shootings who have high blood pressure. <laughs> guys popping a Lipitor and then going and blowing a woman's hat off in public. This looks like a gamer setup, <laughs> but for a child porn. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like he da- he tried downloading child porn on Steam. <laughs> Yeah, he was uh, he was so OG. He was downloading child porn with the punch cards. <laughs> He's he had the big computer that's filling up the room, but just mm. to do child pornography. Mm-hmm. He uh, it's it's funny to look at that photo because you realize he so that's if you look at the uh, like the podcasting ancestral tree, that's like nineteen like early 1980s I think I he's was, at the top I of was it just and then thinking it buds that. all the like that's us uh, it's depressing because I'm like man he, if he only lived <laughs> 25 more years he'd be making so much money mm-hmm. on a podcast yeah poor guy yeah, yeah I know and he's, he's dead now dead yeah he's dead they shot him and killed him and he's dead the IRS yeah or the well the sheriffs went after he didn't believe in paying taxes and stuff like that right but uh, and also it's like we need to get our two thousand dollars a year that this guy was clearly earning. And well, the thing about him is, too, is he claimed to know... So he claimed to have... He saw UFOs in the Navy and talked to people who saw UFOs and then weren't allowed to talk about so it. So he was correct. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We've all found out that's true, basically. And he has people... So this is an interesting thing about guys like this, too, is he claims a couple people on the inside told him who really killed John F. Kennedy, and he couldn't discuss it. Mm-hmm. Did he ever say Which, who, who it was? So guys like this are often by intelligence agencies fed false information from a guy on the inside. Mm. Well, so they have sources that are working against them or for them or you, to the whistleblowers who might be pretending to be whistle bl- whistleblowers. Right. You know? Are we sure this isn't Jack Ruby? <laughs> 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 kind of looks similar. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Uh, I think that there might even be a theory that he's like Alex Jones' dad or something. That makes he looks like Alex Jones too, mm-hmm. but like Bill Hicks is really his son. Or I mean, you go on 4chan. There's all these like schizo posts, sure, right? Sure. 
I do also yeah. like all these guys. I, I feel like there's always a kind of a thing where it's a Bob Laser, where they're like, this guy worked for the Pentagon. He knows about the aliens. Also, he got arrested a lot because he'd go to gay like ballrooms <laughs> yeah. and beat the shit out of himself in the bathroom. <laughs> like liar, liar. Yeah, there's always, yeah. <laughs> I'm kicking my gay ass. <laughs> there's always like some weird, like one, I do think like, there's like a 50-50 where they are being truthful, but there is like some insidious like, yeah, he beat a lot lizard to death. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And now he's in jail. I have to admit, this is the funniest aspect of this whole thing, is that this is on a website called Celebrating Being Zimbabwean. <laughs> <laughs> Was he, did he claim Zimbabwean roots? Uh, what if, what I if, really have no idea what, what that if that's means. somehow the only place his show was big? <laughs> <laughs> somehow it was getting broadcast. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah, he's like the sugar man. Of, <laughs> he's like Alex Jones' sugar man. Yeah, just somewhere in Zimbabwe, there's guys with like just a hubcap pointed <laughs> at the sky being like, I love this show. <laughs> he told us who, who, uh, who shot JFK. All right, Pete, Bill Cooper. <laughs> so this he, shot, he told me who shot JFK and who JFK was. <laughs> Uh, uh, so this this all talks about uh, Bill Cooper demystifying the 9-11 bombings. Hold on. Am I way off here about when he died? Demystifying. I wonder when, when did Bill Cooper died? Bill Cooper death. I wonder if I'm completely wrong about when this guy died. He died in 2001. Oh, so he died right after 9-11. That's interesting. I thought he died in the 90s. That's hmm. amazing. Yeah, interesting. So he got to see The Matrix. That's pretty cool. That is awesome, yeah. He got to see... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, he saw The Matrix and he goes, you know what? I'm going to die like that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get shot by a bunch of federal agents. He, Ben, when the sheriff came to his town uh -huh. and he held up the gun, Bill Cooper went like this and then just kind of... <laughs> it just blew through his hand and his yeah. head. He's in leather trying to do a flip and breaks his neck. Yeah, he got to at least he got to see Can't Hardly Wait, American Pie. You get to see all the classics. And then the IRS just shot him to death. <laughs> yep. That is I did not know the IRS shows up like armed. Yeah. Well they sent the sheriffs the That's sheriff's right, department. The sheriffs, the sheriffs. He was killed by uh, Tommy Lee Jones. <laughs> uh so this website is called The Patriot. And uh, under that, the log line for it or whatever, it says celebrating being Zimbabwean. I have no idea what this means. I don't know. This seems like a perfect site for you, though. Yeah, I mean, I'm clicking on the header to see if like anything happens. Yeah, it's like a MAGA guy living in Zimbabwe. It's like John Candy and Cool Runnings. <laughs> <except> he's like... <laughs> yeah, he's got to he's got to train the first Jamaican racist broadcast team. I'm training the first Jamaican conspiracy theory team. Right, he's like, I train him and I ship him right to Ben Shapiro. <laughs> We've run out of conservative black guys in America, so I've gone overseas to scout new black guys mm -hmm. to be conservative pundits. Ben, scroll up. Extremely Look cool at this running. Picture. Jet fuel doesn't <laughs> amount steel beams. <laughs> The water is making the frogs gay. Yeah. They're putting sandboxes in kids' classrooms <laughs> because they identify as cuts. We need to kill Dylan Mulvaney. <laughs> I love how wacky uh, Zimbabwean guys will dress. Mm -hmm. They really go for it. They look good. I like no, that yellow. They look they, great. They look like they're cheering for Lemon Party right now. <laughs> <laughs> they're cheering us on, yeah. Yeah, like we're doing a live broadcast. And the Patriot guys show up. These are the Patriot editors. Professor Pufukwa. <laughs> Pufuk Pufukwa. And then Christian Mutsukowika. It looks like a Morpheus and then a yeah. Neo. It's amazing. Look at the, these guys. They've been trained in castration. Right. They, <laughs> he offers you two pills, but they're both for HIV. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're both, they're both Bono's yeah, yeah. pill. Uh -huh. <laughs> One of them's for HIV. The other one uh, filters your water. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are awesome, man. Oh, they have reporters too. The Patience Rusari. So I used to. I used to. Um, I don't know if you guys have read like, uh, uh, like you a Ugandan newspaper online or something like that. <laughs> no. Have you ever like read the news and? You know, I recently stopped doing that. <laughs> Yeah, it's just bad for my mental health. It just was not good for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The news is just so depressing, especially in Uganda. Right, Uganda. You're like, ah, another virgin baby <laughs> <Yeah>. raped. 
another another roof made of severed arms. Like ah, I can't believe General Buck Naked won the Senate of Uganda. I used to go to these uh, Uganda websites for because they're digitized now. You don't have to you know get it delivered sure. to your front door. Yeah, sure. they they got the internet a couple years yeah, ago. You don't have to, the mailman doesn't come up with your milk and your <laughs> <Right>. Uganda times. <laughs> a guy riding a bicycle from Africa. <laughs> He comes out of the ocean on a bicycle. Oh, covered in starfishes yeah, and seaweed. Covered and stuff. in kelp and yeah, shit. Yeah. yeah. Like the ants from James and the Giant Peach. Mm hmm. No, he had to like uh, uh, that Afghani airport thing when people were holding on to the airplane. He like held on to an airplane with one copy, with one copy of the newspaper just over the ocean, just holding on. <laughs> The whole time. Right. And he goes, it's worth it. I made $4. <laughs> Which will, yeah, he doesn't have to work for, for 40 years yeah, I'm now. Not, I'm not the richest man in Uganda. <laughs> the Uganda newspapers are crazy because the, like, the front page, it'll say like, it'll say that there's like, uh, that there are witches on the loose. Mm -hmm. And then I'll read the story and it will, I swear to God, it'll say a witch stole a local man's uh, penis. And it's gone, and he's looking for it. And it'll show a guy like this. <laughs> and it'll say, so be on the lookout for witches because they're out and they're stealing men's penises right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's the, that's the whole story. <laughs> yeah, it's on the news. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they so, have, like, their Brian Williams, like, doing, like, a new show. Mm -hmm. But yeah. that's, that's really not even that far from what we have now. Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, people are now saying there's litter boxes in classrooms, and and kids are like going poop and pee in them. Yeah, it's yeah. it's just as insane. Mm -hmm. Yeah, none no no news is real anywhere. No, oh, Uganda walked so we could crawl, uh, or Uganda crawled so we could walk. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> yeah, like they they're doing one story that's like uh, uh, Alvin Madden Zimvara is gay, <laughs> and that's the front page mm -hmm. of the Ugandan Times. And and Trump models his how he gives people news based on the Uganda Times. Mm -hmm. He's running on Ron DeSantis being Lil D. Right. Yeah, he's like, he's like, Ronnie, he stole a man's penis. <laughs> he's, he did witchcraft and he stole a penis. He's a witch. He's a witch. He ate the penis, Do folks. you really want to elect a man that can make your pee-pee go bye-bye? Pee-pee go bye-bye. Pee -pee bye I wonder if I could find the Uganda Times now. I think it was Uganda. It was one of them. Which, which, by the way, I'm not like. Do you remember when Netflix said, "Here are the top comedians in every country in the world," and then they had a they put like for like United States of America, it was like four, Canada it was four people. They would do four people for each country in the world, and then one country Netflix just listed was Africa, mm -hmm. and, and then they, they put four people. They didn't put a comic. Well, no, they put four people, but they put the country of Africa. Oh, oh. Right. They just put. Africa, yeah, and their their comics were like number one, Trevor Noah, number two, The Crow. <laughs> well, you have to wonder why their logo is a big N. <laughs> that uh, one's just for you, Ben. Uh, thank you. That was that was just for you, that, right? Right into your veins, Ben. <laughs> I'm gonna type in which, just like that cola. <laughs> which which penis? Uh, I, I'm gonna have to find what country it was because I think it was. Because some of them are more, some of the countries are more uh, developed than like they don't believe in, they don't believe like little like homunculi are like running around and like crawling up your asshole and turning you gay and stuff. Mm -hmm. They're like much more, they're much smarter than that. Yeah, in South Africa, they're not into the. I think like sir, there's other like Senegal. Like, I think there's like there, there there's there's decent places in Africa. Oh sure, I think, besides South Africa. No, Senegal is awesome. Uh, it, it's uh, I think you just like. Uh, Go swimming all day in the ocean. Yeah, it's just yeah. nice. You just yeah. Isn't that Senegalese food? That's the one where they slap that wet thing of dough, and that's how they eat. I think that's Somalian food, where oh, they okay. they give you like bread that looks like a burn victim's skin, <laughs> and you have to like put your hand in water and like slap it. Yeah, or so something like that. You have to pretend it's gay and hit it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Every episode, I'm like, man, we were really racy that that one, and then Ben's like, all right, we're gonna do. Africa today. Right. <laughs> We're doing Africa today. We're doing Africa. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I have some sort of filter on now. But I used to, I read it for a few months and I was like, this is amazing. And I just can't. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I I guess I'm t too insensitive to remember the exact country it was. 
Katie put a filter on your computer to make you less <laughs> retarded. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> to stop reading the Uganda Times. Mm-hmm. There's a filter specifically for, like, if you see your kid becoming an incel, mm-hmm. like a 4chan guy, you can put it on. Oh, I don't know. I'm, like, in kids mode right now on my computer. <laughs> I have no idea. Right. You try to look up boobs and a big skull <laughs> with bones comes across the screen. <laughs> oh, man. But uh, that's what that's what they think over there. And, uh, hey, if you think... If you don't like it, you know, then uh, you can leave. Then you can uh, marginalize them here and you can shame them for being where they're from. I like it. I'm, I'm, I'm with it. I do, too. I support it. Keep it up. I mean, what are they supposed to Are they supposed to be like the, have some fun with the news? <laughs> what are they spo- was the news supposed to be real? Well, it seems that it, it, they have two options. It's either that or they come over here and they fake hate crime. The guy from, uh, you know, that TV show. They did not <laughs> fake hate crime him. They just wanted some work. <laughs> Jesse uh, found them on Upwork. What's his name again? Jesse <laughs> Jesse Smollett or Smollett, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and somehow he got away with it. He never went to prison or anything. Yeah, mm-hmm. he got away with the faked whole thing. a huge hate crime. Mm-hmm. Remarkable. You got to give it up, actually. Mm-hmm. Respect. Respect to him. Yeah, yeah. I also love that he faked it around getting Subway, which mm-hmm. is pretty, which is pretty funny. The most deranged part of the story was that he was at a Subway at 3 a.m. Most unbelievable part of the story. Yeah, he's like, I'm a famous actor. You know us. We go to Subway at 3 a.m. Yeah, that's what we do. Yeah. Yeah. We eat the worst food in the world at the most despicable time of the night. What was the show he was on? He's on one of those like black shows. Where Empire. It's just, pa- Empire, Power. It's just called like Strong or Empire, <laughs> Power. It's called Not Gay. It's called Big. Or like- <laughs> yeah, we're not gay. Don't worry about it. It's called Capital Letters. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The whole so- The whole show is just about a guy wearing a suit and going like that. <laughs> just, yeah, just buff, just yeah. stra- getting out of his suit. That's mm. the whole show is a guy being like, I got to get out of this Hertz rent a car. I got to start my own beeper business. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. like that. I got I got to start my own uh, Bluetooth headset business. <laughs> I got to start my own T-shirt company. <laughs> And the t-shirts, they all say hands up, don't shoot. That is the biggest fans <laughs> of guys like like 50 Cent and Jay-Z or guys like that. Is what? Like like Jay-Z's, like, like Jay-Z's great, but the people that like worship Jay-Z are guys that like frame their bachelor's degree <laughs> and they like think they're an entrepreneur because they work at like men's warehouse and they yeah. have to like wear a suit. Mm-hmm. And they do. And they have a Bluetooth still. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. And they do say though, like, see, I'm in the empire building business. It's like you make $45,000 a year. <laughs> like, I'm in the empire business. <laughs> it's guys what are you that, talking about? It's guys that wear their suits to Gold's Gym and they and change and mm-hmm. work out and then yeah. change back into a suit and uh, it change. smells like shit mm-hmm. yeah. they change back into a suit to go to sleep at night <laughs> and you hear their phone buzz with the postmates alert mm-hmm. and they accept an order <laughs> yeah and when they accept an order this, they go see that's another chunk in my empire that's another brick in my castle right have you there. ever had like a guy that looks like he's way like doing way too well to deliver food or drive <laughs> uber like a guy where you're, he's like driving a really nice really Mercedes nice car, and he's yeah. got really nice clothes on but he's just picking up sushi for you usually armenian yeah well yeah yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. i've had that mm. i've had that a lot with of course <laughs> I'm fine with We that. all knew who I was thinking <laughs> I, it's of. It's Armenian. Yeah. We're fine shitting on Armenians. Yeah. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. I have that with Uber drivers a lot. I had a guy pick me up from, like, I was going to LAX and the guy picked me up and he was like, he was from England, black guy from England, like wearing a fancy like tie and everything. Like goes, Don Cheadle style? Don Cheadle style type. Yeah, exactly. It was slow tie. <laughs> <laughs> He's a British rapper. Mm-hmm. He was in the grime scene <laughs> mm-hmm. and he goes, pick it up. the Oh, like Skepta? All, the, all that shitty gr- uh, grimes. You get rap. in his car, it's like, oi, hey, what's up, hey, Kornikova. That guy, uh, that's a new archetype that's not really exercised as much, but then I saw Bullet Train, and I was like, oh, those guys are making a comeback. Which guys? The guys, they're like, oh, oi, mate, I'm, I'm black, right, but right, I, I right, talk right, like right. this, mate, and yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I, I, everything I say is funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Cockney, mm. like the wild man. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. British people stink. <laughs> They have no fucking identity. Mm. They had the whole fucking country. They mm. had this whole country and they lost it. Yeah. They couldn't hide they behind had a tree. The whole yeah. world. And the whole it. fucking world. And you lost it because they don't know how to hide behind a tree. We just killed them with like pots and pans. And, yeah. you know, Mel Gibson and like. <laughs> yeah, Mel Gibson was just throwing like knives at him. Yeah. And they're like, oi, mate. They go, that's not how you fought a war. <laughs> they're Australian. They're Australian. They're Australian. Australian now. They go, hey, old I mean, British. They, they basically mate. are, though. Because they came from there. Yeah. Yeah, Australians are just British people that fermented. (laughs) 
Yeah, yeah. They're like uh, scoba <laughs> um, English people. <laughs> you can put them in a jar and make kombucha. They're so, they're the inbred hopeless bastards of Britain. Yeah, essentially. Yeah, and uh, some other countries, which too. is hilarious to say inbred like there's a distinction between British and Australian. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, th- well, what happened was is they. From what I understand, the British government uh, was really racist and wanted to colonize Australia. And they wanted to colonize Australia, mm. uh, but they wanted to make it a white place. Sure. And they didn't like that there were black people on the, on the continent there. So they, uh, to, so it's, I believe the term is an ethno state. So they sent, they would go to families and they would go, you have a nine year old and a one year old. This nine year old and this one year old is never going to get along. Yeah. Uh, because of the age gap. So we're going to take your nine-year-old from you, and we're going to take him to a place thousands of miles away, and we're going to molest him a bunch. And then when he's 18, he's going to get out of this boy's home, and he's going to drink so much he goes insane, and he just like climbs a tree and learns how yeah. to make his own liquor and, and eat uh, poisonous fish. And that British guy was Gandhi. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, Australia is like they're like. What if we made England more retarded? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just in the middle of the ocean. I like Australia more than like I like Australian media more than all British shit. Mm-hmm. It's they're just more Americanized. They they're just they seem cooler to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're, they're fun. Cooler. They're just fun. Yeah, yeah, British people. I just don't get the gloom and the the the, the, the boring green hills and the just it just sucks to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah they got a hell of a McDonald's over there. Sure. <laughs> Yeah, they go over there and they're like, yeah, you know, all fast food, it's like, you know, eel in a sauce. They're like fast, they like, they love uh, eel in a sauce with like mashed potatoes. British people? Yeah, yeah. They like boil pizza, I think. <laughs> they do like very strange shit. They're hillbillies. They call it takeaway food. They Ta- don't call it fast food. Yeah, right. They, call it they always have to do some dumb shit. Like, garage, it's garage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, in the queue, it's a line. It's a line, yeah. god damn it. <laughs> it they, is, they, it's they're, the they're, friend that always has to put a spin on something. Mm-hmm. They're hillbillies. Like, if you watch Deliverance, the scene when they get raped, if you just gave them British accents, it would make just as much sense. <laughs> yeah. They, the whole, their, their royal family, it's like it's a known thing that they all just bang each other. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. If you threw if you threw Ned Beatty over there, they'd be like, "This is the prettiest woman we've ever seen." <laughs> they'd make Ned Beatty queen. Yeah, they'd mm. be like, "This is like a supermodel." You guys have these everywhere. We all had to pretend Princess Diana was like fucking amazing looking. Yeah, that she- bull dyke. <laughs> <laughs> she looked like a humanized Big Bird, kind of. <laughs> yeah, yeah. kind of did. Yeah, she did. Princess Diana kind of looked like she drank water by pecking at it. Yeah. You could tell she was going to get really fat, too. And that's why she married a non-white. So it would work out that in the long true. term. It's not, hey, that is true. They come from a racist family. It's not me saying Diana that. was having an affair with, like, Riz Ahmed or something, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's yeah. right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Princess Diana was saying goodbye to Aziz Ansari. <laughs> yeah. They crashed because Riz went deaf in that tunnel. <laughs> Couldn't hear all the horns. Yeah, and then what was the lie they said? Because they killed her, but then they told they was like it was like oh Perez Hilton killed her. Right. They said there was like a like they're like oh there was a cat that ran in front of the car and <laughs> exploded. Yeah, the yeah. cat had blew up and the car flipped yeah. a bunch. They're like there was an Irish leprechaun mm. that got her. <laughs> Those damn Irish. Uh, but somehow it looked like the opening scene in Punch Trunk Love. <laughs> when yeah. the car just flips down yeah, the... They're like, they got in a simple accident, somehow it's flipped the car 85 times. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Turn the car into like a cube out of a trash compactor. Uh, the nights are getting longer, but the breeze isn't the only thing that's getting stiff. That's right. This episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. Guys, we all know that confidence can take you far in life. That's especially true in the bedroom, especially when it's time to step up to the plate. That's where Blue True comes in. Guys, you don't think uh, the uh, uh, David Koresh didn't uh, wish he had some of this back in the day? I I think if David Koresh had Blue True, it wouldn't have never gone down like it did. Not at all. Mm -mm. Everyone in that house would have been satisfied. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, if they were uh, breaking down his door... Mm-hmm. They would uh, they would have been breaking they would have been uh, seeing something that they would have liked to see. Yeah, they wouldn't have needed a, a battering ram to get through there, folks. Yep, mm-hmm. damn right. You know what I'm talking about. They wouldn't have had to smoke them out. Yeah, with fire. They would become. It'd be. <laughs> yeah. Is your is your point? Yep. Yeah. 
Although I don't think this makes you come more. It just keeps you hard. No, it does not make you. You still calm the same amount, but you're harder while you come. Yep. Yeah. But you can take uh, stuff in addition to the to, into to this. I don't want to make any claims about that. Sure. We don't know about that. <laughs> Let's keep it PC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Yeah. If you drink a bunch of water, you come more. That is true. If you drink a glass of water before you jack off, there's more cum. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Really? I've heard that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's why I, I always chug like a two liter of water right before I have sex. Yeah. Yeah. If That's- you drink cum, you come more. <laughs> <laughs> well... Uh, well, that's where Blue Chew comes in. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis. But in chewable tablets and a fraction of the cost, you can take them anytime, day or night, so you can plan ahead or be ready whenever an opportunity arises. The process is simple. Sign up at BlueChew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. The best part, it's all done online, so no visits to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, which is my favorite part, and no waiting in line at the pharmacy. Totally awkward. Blue Chew's tablets are made in the USA, prepared and shipped direct to your door in a discreet package. Uh, With Blue Chew, men everywhere are excited to see the postman, because when your package has arrived, your package has arrived, folks, if you know what I mean. Read between the lines here, okay? So if you can benefit from extra confidence when it's time to perform, chew it and do it. Have better sex. And we've got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use our promo code LEMON at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. That's BlueChew.com. Promo code L-E-M-O-N. That's LEMON to receive your first month free. Visit BlueChew.com for more details and important safety information. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring the podcast. Thank you, Blue Chew. Thanks, Blue Chew. Thank you, Blue Chew. We love you so much. Oh, that's dope, actually. That's badass as shit. <laughs> uh, guys, Meta, Meta PCs <laughs> builds custom high-end computers built for gaming, video production, editing, and anything requiring a quality system. Visit MetaPCs.com and pick the components for your new computer. Meta then assembles it. And stress tests it to ensure it's plug and play when it arrives on your doorstep. This is my little puppy right here. It's beautiful. Love this baby. Doing a lot of good stuff with it. Mm -hmm. A lot of good stuff, not bad stuff. (laughs) That's right. (laughs) That's right. Yeah, Ben just comes in here and rubs her down sometimes. Mm -hmm. Like the deepest and darkest corners of my mind. (laughs) Only you know who the real me is. Isn't that right? (laughs) Isn't that right, MetaPCs? It's all stored in your massive hard drive. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, NC-17 ad. <laughs> you and I are one, MetaPCs.com. If I'm going to jail, you're coming, you're coming <laughs> with me. <laughs> the FBI knocks down my yeah. door and arrests my computer. <laughs> <laughs> you have the right to remain silent. Anything that's used against you. Uh... <laughs> Uh, oh, they also offer prefigured, ready to ship computers that ship the next business day. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you can, uh, you know, they use high quality components, so you can ensure you're getting the best quality computer possible assembled here in the U.S. All of our support and staff is also based here in the U.S. That happened for me because I had to talk to them, and they uh, walked. It was really easy. It was kind of fun too. I felt empowering. Mm-hmm. Put that, put it together. Uh, you can customize your PC to fit your style with custom graphics and designs, which they made a cool lemon party thing with lemons and uh, the lotion, Jace Drew, and all that stuff. Uh, all Meta PC systems come with a lifetime service and support guarantee. You know, they're not like the military where like you do your service and they just forget about you and up on the street. They're with you f- till the bitter end, mm-hmm. until yeah. they're dragging you from your home. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So whether you're looking for a desktop or laptop, go to metapcs.com and use code LEMON to save on your new PC. Uh, that's Go to metapcs.com and use the code LEMON to save on your new PC. Thank you, MetaPCs. You're literally one of the coolest companies to come onto this podcast. Oh, by far. Thank you for approaching us. You guys are awesome. You kick a lot of ass, and thank you for this badass computer. Thank you. Oh, my God. They just bombed the Ho Chi Minh Trail. <laughs> British people do kind of rock. Like I was watching, uh, I've been trying to get into, I've been trying to, 
open my third eye a little bit. I've been trying to like, you know, I'm trying to be more cultured. Yeah. So I'm getting into international mukbanging. Okay. So the international. <laughs> so I've been watching like uh, uh, fat mukbangers in Britain. Right. What's interesting is we're accustomed in here in America to a certain. There's a certain threshold here to being a retard. Mm-hmm. There, it's it's much, much, much higher, uh, or I guess lower. Lower. Would be they the don't term. have as much tolerance. That's right. right because okay. the retards over there, they go, "All right, we're gonna do a mukbang." All right, and they're like, "It's a guy like maybe ninety pounds overweight," which. I can't work with that. Mm -hmm. No, it's not funny enough. I can look out my window and see someone fatter (laughs) Mm -hmm. than you. Commit. Commit to the bit, you limey fuck. But there, that's that's a that's a biggin'. Right. That's a monster over there. And then before they go, all right, we got all this Tony's takeaway on. And they're breathing like that. So I'm like, okay, I got I got the breaths a little bit, like the heavy Mm. stuff. But then their friend that they're eating with is like kind of skinny, and he breathes like that too. They just all have fucked up nasal things over there. Mm-hmm. So th- then I'm it's like, from all the headbutting, they've all been headbutt <laughs> at least like thirty times. They all, uh, they all uh, punch each other in the face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They uh, before they eat for the mukbanging, they had like a thirty minute conversation going around the table because they were like eating is about like family and like community and stuff, and then they had like a pretty decent like thoughtful just discussion about like life and friendship for 30 minutes and then they're like all right let's eat and then they just the guy ate like three plates of chinese food Mm -hmm. and people were like in the comments people like i've never seen someone eat this much food this is crazy this is nuts and you as an american you're like i i see this anytime i go to a golden corral yeah this is pretty much it this is not as worse as a golden corral but also like this what you guys call mukbangs over there could over here be an intellectual podcast <laughs> right this could be a dark web like a, an intellectual dark web yeah like, podcast. A, like a sam harris sit down you know they're they, just a they're, little smarter their retards over there are actually thoughtful mm-hmm. just a guy stuffing his face with crab rangoon has mm-hmm. more to say than like you know the average like red pill show they're more inquisitive they like want to know why they're retarded <laughs> <laughs> yeah 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 uh yeah I do love how all those English people, they get fat in only one way, which is like you took a normal fat person and like roller pinned his legs up. <laughs> so it's just a fucking, they look like a sperm cell. They get, they get yeah, they yeah. get really fat in their neck. Yeah, they get more fat in their head than their ass. The skinnier legs though, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the skinny legs, no ass, and then just a fucking swelling like turkey leg type Th- of there's look. something some chemical they don't allow in the food over there that right. we do that makes that g- it gives these people these like huge legs it, it seems like the fat people there sleep upside down yeah <laughs> like bats yeah and it all <laughs> goes to their head <laughs> they have like uh, fat people there have like fat ears <laughs> like they have fat eyelids mm-hmm. yeah yeah they yeah. have fat teeth they have yeah. fat everything their ears have psoriasis <laughs> Like their head got so fat it pushed all the hair out. Yeah, That's yeah, why yeah. they're all bald. <laughs> yeah. They're stab proof. <laughs> mm-hmm. They do they kind of look like that. Remember when they were like, We've designed a human that can survive a car wreck? <laughs> and it was that fucked up big guy with the big head and neck. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They kinda that's what English people look like. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But he but here in the here in the States. Right. And they go they just go, Oh, I love me, I love me family. <laughs> <or> what? <laughs> I got the missus, and it's it's a woman from a roll doll, but uh-huh. he's like, oh, I love you, dear. <laughs> and then they go, my little daughter, my queen, and it's like a fucking, it's like Jersey Shore Girl, but she's in blackface from all the self-tanner <laughs> that she's doing, and like a little, he's like my son, and it's like a little fucked up retarded kid. Mm-hmm. Yeah, eyes. it's like a French bulldog. Yeah, he's got like, like gecko eyes, just kind of like swirling around his mm. head. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They live in like a mossy shed, <laughs> the top of a hill. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and they're like, they're like, you American, you racist Americans, all uncivilized, and then they're like being the shit out of like packies mm-hmm. and shit like that. And it's like you guys, you guys fucking wanted an ethno state. Mm-hmm. You wanted a, like a whole, you wanted a whole continent. They to started be white the people. whole thing. Yeah, there's imagine a bunch of dominoes as racism. Mm-hmm. 
they were the ones that were like, let's just hit this over. <laughs> mm-hmm. And they did, and it started yeah. everything. Right. And they're kind of worse because they were doing like what we're doing now, but with like ships and like it took 15 well, years. Just, that right. was the Jews, actually. Well, okay. <laughs> their devotion. All right. This is the YouTube app. <laughs> Take it, a, take it a little easy on the news show. I've been watching some black Israelite videos, all right, and some web, websites. <laughs> yeah, you really, we are going to curtail whatever you're watching so we don't get demonetized. Because yeah. <laughs> unfortunately, it's a cable. If you consume something, it's coming out of your mouth on the minute we hit record. Yeah. <laughs> I like how their their racism was so steadfast. They were like, "All we gotta do is make it over this uh, Indian Ocean. Right. It'll take maybe a year, right. but once we get there, we can really put our knees on the necks, you know." <laughs> yeah, they're like, uh, "I just, you know what? I think I'm gonna dedicate a quarter of my life to go being racist somewhere." <laughs> they're like, "I know it's I know it's the 1650s, and I only live to 45. But what if I spent half of that just abducting 500 people?" You know, you know how you know they're way more racist than Americans. They have two N words there because they have the A word also. What is the A? Oh, for uh, Aboriginal well, you're people. You're talking about Australia, right? Yeah, but they sent them they there did, and started. Yeah. They're fucking British. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are British. Yeah, f- I, I think people in Britain claim Australia as like their country, right? Yeah, well, just because they want like one hot person, so they're like sure. Australia. Yeah, counts. yeah. yeah. They're like, it's the only country that like allowed other people in. So they have like really cool mixed people. Right. You know, teeth mm-hmm. that are like lined up. Yeah. Like uh, Australia is cool because there are they have all the types of people America has. Mm-hmm. There's like a hot this person mixed with a bunch. You know what I mean? Britain. I don't feel like you have that as much. You just got like black British people, Indian British people, yeah. and then just just disgusting pale white <laughs> guys. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just monsters. Yeah. 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 But the fake taxi is good. I love. I like, I'm a fan of the fake taxi. <laughs> fake taxi is fake taxi. Cool. What's great. fake taxi? It's a porn website. Nice. Yeah. We we'll actually be checking that out. We later. referenced it on the last episode. Yeah. yeah the, the oh guys, yeah, 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 yeah. It's the classic case mm-hmm. where you know she's in the taxi, and then it is fun because they'll show a little bit of footage of them just talking in the taxi. You think it's you're like, no, this this could be a real ride, right? <laughs> oh, does he have the beaded? Does he have the beaded seat? It's just like a lady gets in and he's driving, and they just he just asks her where she's from, how's it going, and they take their time because British people love you know monotony and being boring so sure. they're, they're porn it kind of worked for the porn because it kind of yeah. tricks you into thinking oh, this is real amateur shit <laughs> and then he goes like we have like a little tradition here love where you know if you get in a taxi for the first time in England if you show me your knockers it's the whole ride's free and then she's like all like bashful like what yeah. Oh and then she eventually does, and then it turns into him, her like eating his ass. And it's it's really <laughs> yeah, like nice. f- like fucking her into the seat <laughs> yeah. of the taxi. Yeah. <laughs> and it's great because it's just like it's not like it's like a porn video where it's like some like hunk guy. No, it's, it's just yeah, it's just like somebody's dad. It's just like a guy that runs a pub. <laughs> yeah. He just looks like your average guy. Yeah, and he they they like pull off in the woods and they stop. He's like, all right, we're gonna have a bit of a fucking tug. <laughs> And then he just pulls out like a normal guy's like Uh a stomach and everything. He's like, all right, suck my four and a half inch penis. (laughs) It's really the every man's porn. Nice. He plants a flag in her (laughs) pussy at the end. That rocks. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, he goes, for the queen. (laughs) That's every guy in England before they come, they go, for the queen. For the queen. Her majesty. Mm. (laughs) I like that. I like that they make stuff people can relate to. They don't want to... uh, suspend their uh, what what is it called disbelief uh, or, or they don't want to uh, like they don't they don't want it to be too nuts yeah yeah they want it to just be they just want to wank because that's what they call it they call it wanking, wanking yeah, they yeah. call it wanking they want to wank because they have to call, change everything which is what you call it if you have a systematically small penis yeah if you look down and it looks like you the head I'm, of a you bullfrog say I'm yeah, yeah. It, they might as well call it like, oh let me suck you itty bitty <laughs> <laughs> it just sounds right. pathetic wank sounds like you're trying to pull more penis out of <laughs> right, your body you're stretching it <laughs> you're like I'm trying to yank it <laughs> I'm trying to wank it out mm-hmm. Not like, not like me, dog. I stroke. We my stroke sh- our shit. <laughs> we stroke our shit in America, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> and then over there, it's just like, oh, I just want, I just want to wank on me. We did a part here to some fat bloke yeah. getting his wanker. That's Wh- the, walked off. The English guys are built like that way, where they have to like, they have to like mm-hmm. angle their stomach out of the way to jack off. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you feel like they just take their wedding ring off and they fuck, the, they they fuck it. Yeah, oh. 
Yeah, they Call have me to. With my wedding ring off, did you, mate? They have to two hand. They have to one hand. They have to push their pubic bone fat down, mm-hmm. and the other hand, fucking jerk off their tiny. Yeah, little. yeah. Their wedding ring doubles as a cock ring. <laughs> oh, for sure. Yeah, that's that's why John Lennon had married Yoko. Mm-hmm. Is because she was Asian. Yeah, he. It's because he's a white loser, and white losers <laughs> love annoying Asian women <laughs> that are the only ones that'll fuck them. <laughs> It's so funny. He had so much money, but still was a white loser. So bad. at yeah. the end of the day, mm. big white loser. He was. Yeah, he was worth like a hundred million. He's like, give me the woman with the worst ass ever. Give made. me the <laughs> ugliest woman and most untalented woman in America, who will break up the best band of all time. Mm-hmm. Give me the only ugly Asian yeah. woman in America. Just like the LeBron of destroying greatness. <laughs> I I thought she was more talented than. Uh... Than all four of the Beatles, actually, oh. the way she the way she did this, oh, uh, yeah. at the side of John Lennon like that, the way she did that, mm-hmm. where she's kissing him. Oh, in the when in the the, the, yeah, Anne the Leibovitz picture. photo that they took the I, don't, know I think here's, they took that the day before how, he got shot. Here's how untalented she is in that photo. John Lennon's doing that pose. Yeah, John Lennon's doing that. <laughs> you you, like, you, tried, you like tried to pretend to like Yoko and yeah. give her credit for something. Oh, shit, that's right. That's John. Yeah. John. Oh, my God. This is how untalented she is. You tried to pretend she was good and still, still couldn't think of it. You a still thing failed with it. To make up. Because that's a genius thing to do. It's like a weird fetus y primate yeah, thing. He knows what Yeah. She just sat there like a cadaver. Because <laughs> yeah. she's like, just, a, like a game of backgammon. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, just laying there. Yeah. Well, what were they doing? Wasn't that when they were like just going to sit in bed to protest or something? It was the sleep in for world peace. That's like, right. To, they were sleeping in the bed to end war. And that's because they're big Sam Hyde fans. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, we're sleeping in bed until Sam yeah. makes world peace They're like, too. until they let Mr. Hyde mm. back on Adult Swim, we are going to protest. Yeah. Yoko's like, we hate Tim Heidecker. <laughs> I don't know why I'm making her. English. I'm all over the place with accents. With the accents, yeah. It's me, Yoko Ono. <laughs> we just start doing Asian voice. Mark David Chapman was trying to kill Judd Apatow <laughs> and Brett Gelman. He's on his way to kill Brett Gelman. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. He was he 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 shot John Lennon and then sat down and read that uh, Sam Hyde like how, how to, to bomb sh- the U.S. government. <laughs> yeah. He read that. He had a copy of that. Oh, fuck. Yeah, there's a there's a, a photo I saw the other day of them doing the sleep in for world peace, and there's a photo of them standing on the side of the room so the maids can like clean the bed and change the sheets and everything uh, while they're doing while their they're, that's, mm, while they're saving the world. That's a funny, funny thing. Yeah. So. Hmm. That's, well, you know, he got he got what was coming to him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he was shot by his maid. It it is. He kind of. I mean, he was an, he destroyed Harry Nielsen's career. Did you know that? No. Where, how? What? Harry Nielsen, what you know, great singer songwriter. Yeah, yeah. John Lennon became really big friends with him. Basically, like encouraged him to like really up his binge drinking. Why? And then because he's a fucking asshole. Yeah. Yeah. And he. Uh, That's I mean, awful. He also, he also like beat his wife. He neglected his. He was first a huge kid. woman beater, and he couldn't drive. He almost killed like multiple people in car crashes, like mm-hmm. a few times. Yeah, yeah. So he he was, identified with Asia. He was. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why he married Yoko. He married sure. her so she could drive. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, he was uh, one of those guys was like so just such a genius, couldn't do anything else right but mm-hmm. do music, you know, sure, yeah, but sure. sucked in every other aspect the of so, life. The song, so there's two, th- the song Beautiful Boy, he wrote it about like his first son. He just like didn't give a fuck about him, like basically abandoned him. And then Paul McCartney wrote Hey Jude, yeah, for about him, about his son, Sean, Sean I, one of them, the one that is known now that does the fracking anthems and stuff. I I could oh, not okay. I could not tell. Is you. he half Asian and half yeah, white? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this is so this is the, the other one. The other one, the first son. So Paul was like trying to raise John's kids through music. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just play the bass at him. <laughs> <laughs> That'll make up for the abandonment issues. Um, and then John Lennon wrote the song beautiful boy for his next song because he was not because he loved his son but he was like fuck paul like mm-hmm. you're gonna write a song for my son i don't take care of and then he wrote uh, beautiful boy about, okay oh yeah. interesting but harry what he did with harry nielsen was he they were doing a recording and then he told harry he goes you can't do the scratchy voice as good as i can like the twist and shout like that type of voice mm-hmm. and he made nielsen keep going again and again and it basically fucked up his vocal cords for the rest of his life and he like he lost that like angelic 
um, uh, singing voice that he had. Yeah. Interesting. Damn. That is like some subtle sabotage. Like he kind of knew what he was doing. Yeah. Interesting. Why was John Lennon was such a white loser? Like a white loser had to kill him. It's interesting. Like yeah, a white yeah. loser was like, no, I'm the king. I'm the king of being a white loser. Yeah. It is kind of true. Yeah. He got like killed by himself. Yeah. Yeah. He got killed by. He got a, like. Uh, he got like uh, assassination of uh, Jesse James by the coward Robert Ford. Mm-hmm. A little bit. It yeah, was kind of like that. Yeah. Like like Selena's like you know the the <laughs> the friend that started running her fan club killed her. It was kind of one of those. But oh, I, yeah, I think yeah. John Lennon was killed. I think that guy was taken by the CIA. Oh, you think it was like an MK thing? I do actually. Yeah. There's a really good book on it that I don't remember the name of and I've never read, but I've <laughs> I've I've heard people talk about it. And, and it's I, really I, good. I, yeah. I, I pass it off as if I've like done a lot of research on mm-hmm. it. <laughs> Um, <laughs> no, sure, but he, I have those opinions too. Yeah, I go course. chaos, but but the Manson, I'm like, it's gr- it's great. Never read it. It's the only don't way know to, anything about it. The '70s, right? It's called adulthood, bub. It's the I, only way to get by. It, no, what's upon a time in Hollywood? Yeah, mm-hmm. you know, I know what you're mm-hmm. talking about with Manson. But what I do know is, that in the book, he the guy went missing for like a week. Before, Mark David Chapman. There's did? no record of him for like a week, and then just showed up and killed John Lennon. Ah, one of those. Ah, so he's a time traveler. And that was the heyday. That was the heyday of them taking people off the streets and, and doing like uh, John Hinckley Jr. Yeah, that yeah. was that was when they loved that shit. They don't do that anymore. Yeah, I really felt like Trump would have gotten like an assassination attempt or something just because everyone I thought he was so bad according to everybody, you know. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, if he's so bad, why wouldn't he get killed? He's going right. after the. He went after the CIA. Mm-hmm. I've never heard a president go after and the they, CIA. They, they didn't still didn't do it. They would have killed him with like Guy Fieri or something like that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he would have been assassinated by a guy in a Salt Life T-shirt. Exactly, a guy yeah. Fieri poisons his bourbon ribs. <laughs> they really would have just hired a, a guy, like a twenty-two-year-old community college dropout who looks like the Hawaiian Punch mascot. Yeah, <laughs> that's who would assassinate Donald Trump. Right. A guy saving up enough money to become homeless in Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> he goes. He goes. Once I get four K, brother. <laughs> I'm going to be sleeping on beaches all night. <laughs> that is a guy, too. There's so many guys that think if they, like, moving to Hawaii will just solve it all. Mm-hmm. They think you could, like, just live on the beach. Yeah. I don't think that's how it works. They, no. They, they beat you. No, they, they, they hate They hate you. Yeah. yeah. They send, like, Moana to, like, kick your ass. <laughs> Lilo and Stitch yeah. just fucking curb yeah. stop you. Yeah, Stitch is just, like, fucking just ripping necks out of homeless people <laughs> on the beach. Oh, fuck. Yeah, they send a guy. I know this is a completely different country, but they send a guy just going the hota da hota. Don't give a qualifier. Just do it. Yeah, whatever. they know we're fucking retards anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they send like the Rock's dad to go kick your ass. Mm-hmm. There, they probably do throw you like in a volcano if you're homeless. There's a law in Hawaii that you can't lie down on the sidewalks. So they, I know they hate homeless uh, people oh, that man. much. Yeah. Well, because they are. How's they're... my wife gonna get laid? <laughs> what were you saying? That doesn't make sense. I didn't get it. But... Oh, she lays on her back and just waits for someone to trip. <laughs> what? How does your gal go get dick? She ties herself to a street pole, retard. Sorry, Devin. That was cringe. <laughs> You're cringe. <laughs> this podcast is like cringe. She ties herself to a street pole, yeah. retard. <laughs> It is funny if you're a woman and you want to get laid, just go bury your head in the ground mm-hmm. and pull your pants down and wait five minutes. Yeah. Anything. If yeah. you're a woman and you want to get laid, like take a walk alone at night. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Jesus. Jesus. No, that's what I'm saying. It's so easy for it's so easy for women to get laid. Sometimes they get laid when they don't want to at all. It is true. And, and back in the day, they made songs about it. Like, what's that song by uh, Patsy Cline where it's like, walking after midnight? I go out walking yeah. after. That's a song about a woman wanting to get raped. <laughs> it's, it's a song about a woman with a rape. I'm walking through alleys in the darkness. A I got bunch a, of men are staring at me. Because I got a rape king. Don't want it to happen, but I kind of do. I can't be open and honest about my rape king. It's 1958. I'm going and walking after midnight. Man, it really sucks because everybody. <laughs> you had to live behind a wall then. Mm-hmm. Like but imagine. The... But I'm saying, like, imagine you were so like your life. You were so good at like getting laid that you're just like walking to get groceries, and all of a sudden somebody's fucking you. Yeah, you just you 
you drop an orange yeah. and you bend over to pick it up and a penis is inside <laughs> me. Okay, just going to wait here a couple minutes. All right. And I'm back on my way. <laughs> Sorry, what were you going to say? Oh, well, well the, the 50s is interesting to me because it's like uh, men were, their dads were like World War II veterans who saw their friends get their heads torn in half Sure. With like vices and gassed by like chemical weapons, and like crazy stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. World War Two. They saw a guy holding all his guts and going like, "I don't <laughs> think I'm gonna be okay." <laughs> doing that, doing that stuff where how people actually die, where they're like, "I can't put it back <laughs> in." Yeah, mommy. Like in the movies, it's all you know, it's all like, "Oh, tell mom I love her," but in, in real life, it's like, "Stick it in me." <laughs> <laughs> it's just a guy going. Eh. Shove a grenade in my mouth. <laughs> Just shove a left grenade in my mouth. Yeah. Get it over me. Yeah. Because you know they all like went home. They're like, your son died on, on Normandy. <laughs> And they're like, what were his final words? And they're like, they're like in their head. It was, it was just him going like, eh, it feels like I got shit in my pussy. <laughs> I'm gonna piss. I have to pee. I'm oh, sorry. So I've been holding it in. That's so fucked. It's from the Inca Cola. Yeah. Because his, uh, his, you're drinking pee. His brain is shutting down. It's oh, like sure. turning off. Uh, uh, you, you, I feel like I have shit in my pussy And then they're like He said he loved you mm, He died with, with no fear in his heart And he said that his, his kingdom was not of this earth But in heaven <laughs> right. And then actually he's like Oh there's poop coming out of my mouth For some reason yeah. Cause I was shot in the dick And now poop's coming out of my mouth And it tastes like shit yeah. And there's blood in it They're like He said he loved you Edna And he wanted you to have a great life mm. And remember him and in reality, it's just him holding his guts, going like, "It looks like spaghetti." <laughs> sick. Dude, if I was in that movie, Res- Tarantino's first film, Reservoir Dogs, mm-hmm. would have went totally different if I was Mr. Orange. Yeah. If I got shot, I'd be oh, crying the-, the whole movie. <laughs> yeah, the Tim Roth character. Wait, is it, it's Mr. Orange, right? That gets I think, shot. I think. Yeah, so. that's Tim Roth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Laying there, I'd be crying the whole movie. <laughs> like, oh, it's fucking sick. Yeah. And it's just them trying to have these great like lines of dialogue with like Mr. Pink and Mr. Blonde. <laughs> right. And I'm just like, hey, my tummy! <laughs> my fucking tummy, dude! Yeah, it's Mr. Pink going like, stay cool, Jack, because we got to figure out what happened mm. so we know who we're going to. Mm. And he's going like, eh, fuck. <laughs> eh, fuck. I got blood on my... <laughs> I got blood on my dick. <laughs> Fuck. It's like all dry and sticky now. I want to like take a shower or something. Does anybody have like wet wipes? Because I think the blood is in my ass. Yeah. There would be, I'd be shouting over that guy getting his, that guy would tell, ask Mr. Blonde to get his ears cut off. So he could stop hearing me bitch about being <laughs> shot. He'd be like, yeah, because the guy does kind of talk like that in yeah, the movie. Yeah. The guy gets his ear cut off. Yeah, he does. And he'd think, you fuck that guy. <laughs> he'd be like, cut it off. I can't hear him. <laughs> I was saying uh, in Reservoir Dogs, if I was Mr. Orange, I'd be crying like a bitch the whole time if I was shot. And then no one could get out any of these amazing lines of dialogue. Oh, long. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, fuck! <laughs> fuck! And I, we, uh, the part where we are in the bit now is uh, we said, the guy would want to get his ears cut off because I'm bitching so loud. He would ask yeah. Mr. Blonde to cut his ears off. Yeah, Michael Madsen goes, cut the other one off, too. <laughs> yeah, Michael Madsen cuts his own ears off. <laughs> yeah. You're in the car. Harvey Keitel just starts going like, you're really gay. You're going to be real gay. You're really gay. Say the goddamn words. I am gay. Uh, uh. That's one of the most amazing scenes. By the way, I uh, you know that scene where he's... I don't know why I'm saying this, but when Mr. Pink is running, because you never see the bank robbery in that movie. Yeah. When Mr. Pink's running down that street, that's right there, that main strip in Highland Park, where, which is funny to think about now, because he's running from the cops in that scene, mm-hmm. and he gets hit by the cop car and goes into the windshield and falls and uh, empties a clip into the cops. Mm-hmm. Yeah, while well, the camera all, comes around him from behind. It's cool. It's just cool to see Tarantino get to be Tarantino for the first time, and you can imagine how excited he is and stuff. And mm-hmm. It's just cool. It's right. like gr- he's running in like gritty L.A., but now he would be running 
by like my pink pussy pen shop yeah, yeah, and yeah. like typewriter repair store running past and, like a home state and yeah, a, yeah a sweet green yeah. where and, people like, are just waiting in line with like a nine dollar yeah uh, it's juice. a it's a record store slash pho shop <laughs> no no uh, mr pink would run would push mark Marin out of the way <laughs> to get away from the cops yeah hey man are we cool <laughs> <laughs> he runs by him and goes, Do we have a thing? <laughs> Just pushing Jason Siegel and his his Tinder date with huge tits out of the way. <laughs> I saw that a couple times. He always was on dates with ladies with huge cans. Jason Siegel? Yeah, it would be like I'd be in a coffee shop in Highland Park. Jason Siegel would be next to me. Uh lady with huge cans. Mm-hmm. I mean some of the biggest cans you've ever seen. That's awesome. Nice. And then like Bobcat Goldthwait would walk in wearing a cowboy hat. Yeah. Bobcat Goldthwait would like you'd see him in a Highland Park dress like Doug Demodome. <laughs> <laughs> from where, the Timmy Turner curtain? Yeah, from where, the Fairly Odd Parents. Wearing the biggest cowboy. I swear to God, you would see him in a cowboy hat th- this fucking tall. Where like, dude like... <laughs> like he looks like, like Lloyd Christmas walking out of a gas station. Yeah, like if you wore that hat in the Old West, uh, they'd be like, you're kind of gay, Pilgrim. <laughs> hats, hats a little too big. For the old west, uh, <laughs> uh, I I never made fun because I, I liked his uh, I like his writing routine. He goes into a hotel room so he knows he's on the clock. He's paying for the hotel room, so he has to finish a script. But then he'll write a script in like three days. I'm like, I think that's too quick. Who? Bobcat. Oh, okay. Because he makes films, but he made yeah. that movie where that guy kills a bunch of people, and it's it's really funny. God bless America. Yeah, yeah. I World's like greatest that. dad, I think, is even better than God yes. bless America. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, uh, uh, God bless America is not a very good movie. It's a great concept, but it's, though. It's awesome just to see him killing people and on America's Got Talent. There's a and lot stuff. of people like us that we saw that we go, God damn it! I've wanted to do this. I've wanted to make something like this my exactly. whole life. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Bobcat's one of those guys where you agree with the premise, maybe not so much the, like the execution. Sure. Yeah. yeah, a lot of the movies like forty five minutes in, I'm like, I get it, great idea, but I don't really care anymore about mm-hmm. the uh, you know the relationships mm-hmm. or anything. Right. I like that he like shits on Seinfeld, but at the same time, he's the you know the guy who did the retard voice. Yeah, was it from Police uh, Academy? Police Academy. He basically his career was like doing derpa derpa. Yeah. Basically, yeah, he went on stage. Everyone like, "Hey, you guys, it's me. I'm retarded. I got hit by a train." And it was 1984, so they're like, "Here's five hundred thousand dollars." Yeah, you know, literally, like you're a person with a microphone. Uh, I went pee pee in my pants. And then he would do. Wouldn't he do impressions of people? And then all of a sudden, he would do like a perfect impression of somebody or something. No, you're or is that too sophisticated? You're thinking of Andy Kaufman. No, 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 but then at Bobcat, wouldn't he go into like an amazing impression or something, or no? I don't, I don't know. I think he just did the retard guy thing. They were the only two guys then doing retard guy thing, except, well, I guess Yakov Smirnoff was a retard guy, too. He's a retarded Russian guy. Yeah. Well, but he was pretending to be, he's like, in my country, I'm a fucking retard, and here I am, too. <laughs> that was the whole thing. That was his thing, That was yeah. his whole thing. But now, what's interesting, Yakov has gone back to school. He went to, uh, he like went back to school to Pepperdine. Okay. And for the last 30 years, he's been getting like every uh, master's degree you can get. He has like nine master's degrees. I think he's trying mm. to prove to everybody he's not an idiot. Right. And like, yeah, no one. No one thought you doing comedy. Uh-huh. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, good, but, good for him. I think his uh, license plate, I saw him once, his license plate says Yakov. You sure that's him or a fan? That's me. <laughs> Wait, what? You just that? <laughs> oh, that's you. Yeah. Like that? No, that's that's my. Sorry, black that's my car. <laughs> yeah, big fan. Yeah, yak off yeah. fan one. I my guess, custom car. I guess he's still getting those residual checks from Dangerfields. What would he do? He would just go up and be like, "Mother, mother, Russia." What, what was his thing? He goes. He, I remember like one joke. His he goes, "You know, America. What the country?" He always said, "What a country." Mm-hmm. He goes, "What the country in America? You watch TV and TV and in in, the, in Russia, TV watch you." Mm. It's always those type of jokes. That's like, good. Yeah. yeah, in America, you uh, molest baby. In Russia, baby, fuck you. His comedy's so bad. That's why we're sending money to Ukraine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it would be great to turn on the news and just like uh, Yakov's on the front lines. Yeah. Just bombing, <laughs> bombing Zelensky. Zelensky's going to be the new Yakov. He'll be here in like three years. Oh, perform- sure. He'll be performing at the mothership. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, but see, you had you had talent back then at the comedy store like Yakov Smirnoff due to 
uh, Mitzi Shore mm -hmm. and her incredible eye for comedy. Yeah, who definitely wasn't just a cocaine addict <laughs> with way too much power. Yeah. I swear to God, you go to, we've talked about this, you go to the comedy store and they have all the names of people who pass. Mm. And they they'll, they will have like Rodney Dangerfield sure. and Sam Kennison, but they also have a guy called The Fat Doctor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who you look up and he like just, he exploded on stage one day in 1987. Yeah, yeah, There's yeah. There's pictures of guys where they're, it's just their head sticking out of a cannon. <laughs> You're like, who's that guy? And it's like, that guy was just a head. They'd place him on the tip of a cannon and they'd mm -hmm. wheel him up there. Yeah, yeah. That was the, his whole act. The fat doctor was literally a guy who's a really fat guy who went up in a doctor's outfit. And he goes, I'm the I'm a doctor, but I'm fat. And that was like his whole routine. And Mitzi saw that guy and goes, you're past. Louie, no. <laughs> they always, they go, you know, Mitzi had a great eye for comedy. She would like tell comedians like, don't wear a sweater on stage. You're not a sweater comic. Mm -hmm. That's what I, whatever. Listen, I wasn't around, <laughs> but all the stories I hear, I'm always like, what? <laughs> that was it? She sounds like some fucking Ozark character <laughs> that just ran a comedy club <laughs> with bad taste. Yeah, it was basically, she ran it like one of those uh, gambling casino ships that would go up and down like rivers in Tennessee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And she like comes out, she's like a fucking, uh, what's that lady? I forget her name, but um, yeah, just run it like like the, the main bad woman in Ozark. Yeah. Never watched it. Bad like, show. Yeah. Ozark is Breaking <laughs> I Bad. I knew it was bad. It's Breaking Bad with Down Syndrome. Yeah. It's like it's like we tried to write Breaking Bad from memory. Yes. Yeah. In like a day. I think the first episode is the only <laughs> good episode I saw of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the first episode is literally like I think Jason Bateman just going like, "So we're doing Breaking Bad, right?" Mm -hmm. Yeah. The whole show is 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 the cartel telling Jason Bateman they go, "You have till noon." to get us our money or we're going to slaughter right. your whole family and he's just going okay well all right yeah okay till noon slaughter my family those shows uh -huh. family interesting, okay, interesting. those shows kind of seem good. like the screenwriters are going guys have you ever heard of this concept called the ticking clock because <laughs> I went to a Yale school of being a retard yeah for Tw creative writing 24 really fucked all that up where every show now, like oh, ja the Jack, uh, yeah, because uh, wasn't twenty people <clears throat> love twenty four because like they have twenty four hours to fucking solve a thing. Yeah, yeah. A, there's a timeline, like it's a there's a beginning, middle, and end that's already set up mm -hmm. because of the name of the fucking show. Oh yeah. right, so right. if you make Breaking Bad was like the best show ever about like what's around the corner, what's next, what are they gonna do next, and now like almost every show seems to be like that. That show seemed to me like if it was a there was a Breaking Bad coloring book. They were just trying to just color inside the lines, and they were just fucking up so bad. Mm -hmm. Like they didn't get. But and by the way, I don't know what happened to me, but at some point, I said I had enough of Jason Bateman, and I go, I'm tapping out. Yeah. So anything with Jason Bateman now, I just don't click on it. I, I just said I was yeah. done. I, I don't know why. I don't hate him. I I've think he's never a good hated actor. him. I think he's good too. But there's just something sick of the way sick he reacts it. and everything. Just like, mm -hmm, okay. I'm well, yeah. You know who okay. else I'm sick of? I'm sick of Paul Rudd too. Tapped out on that guy too. Yeah, I love Paul Rudd, but yeah, fuck him and his Ant Man bullshit. Oh, Ant Man and the Quantum. Ant whatever. Yeah. There's a new one every Thursday. Yeah, yeah. And it is there is a thing of him like I do like him. But there is something. In <laughs> There's a new. One. I'm not. It's kidding. like episodes of Seinfeld. I can't keep up. There's yeah. so many of those stupid movies. Mm -hmm. I love that they interviewed the guy who played uh, Kang. The what's the like Jonathan Majors? Yeah, yeah, who? yeah. He's on like talk shows. He's the guy from, from keep Creed. Up, keep the, up. the black dude from Creed Three who's been going around town. He like dresses like like uh, like Frederick Douglass. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah He's yeah, buff, yeah, yeah. but he has like Morgan Freeman face <laughs> yeah. somehow. He yeah. Dresses, <laughs> yeah. 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 That guy's awesome. He dresses like he runs the underground. Railroad. <laughs> <laughs> he always carries a little mug with him everywhere. Have you seen that? No, he has like his own personalized little mug. He has like a little shitty mug he made out of like ceramics, and uh. he he but he doesn't drink anything out. He just like holds it with him. That's obnoxious. Wait, <laughs> that's an actor bullshit thing. Wait, to do. just what do I type in? He's a great actor though. Type in Jonathan Major, Major's mug. He is a great actor. Yeah, he's like all of our great actors being wasted on stupid bullshit. Exactly. Yeah. That's that's what's so sad. Like he should, you know, these guys should be in like Dog Day Afternoon. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And instead they they're should in, be in like Polanski. Film. Instead they're in like The Big Dog's Afternoon. That's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they're in Wild Hogs. <laughs> wild Hogs. <laughs> they're in Are Are We? Uh... That's not the That's not the mug. Oh, if you okay. could go back, please. Well, okay. If you could go to the oh, first this? the first picture, no, the very first. Oh, no, that's not the that's mug a, either. It's a is that the Clayton Bigsby edition? Is this or... it? Yeah, that's it right there. He always carries that little oh. guy around. Is that like his? It must be like luck or something, or or I don't just know. some performative bullshit that you have to do when you become an actor of his level. Yeah, just yeah. some weird autistic Wearing bullshit. Wearing a parachute. I mean, what is that? <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. I literally <laughs> thought it was that. He just jumped out of a plane. 
<laughs> yeah, he looks <laughs> like, into Manhattan. He looks like DB Cooper. <laughs> So wait, he goes on talk shows and drinks from that mug? Yeah, he talks about the the mug and everything. So this is like his little passy? His what is it? Was this like was this like Harriet Tubman's mug or something? Is it like a <laughs> statement? I'm not trying to be offensive. Look it up. Type it in. Why does Jonathan Majors carry a no. mug with him well, everywhere? I'll watch it right here, damn it. Oh, he's going to speak on it. Popsugar.com slash celebrity slash Jonathan Majors. Oh, late night uh, with... Put uh, the interview of him on. That'll be the funniest part of the episode. Everybody, welcome back to the Late Show. Oh, please turn that down. Ladies and gentlemen, my next guest tonight stars... Let's see if we get copyrighted by having this big. Guess we'll find out. We'll see. And the Wasp Quantum Mania. you also see him next month opposite Michael B. Jordan in Creed 3. Please welcome to the Late Show, Jonathan Majors. <laughs> Like a yeah. Oh, here we go. And the, you, know what, you know what pisses me off? It's too small of a mug. Yeah, it doesn't even make sense. That's what makes me really fucking upset. Same here, Jay. <laughs> yeah, it's like a it's like a seven and a half ounce mug. It's some weird European shit. Mm-hmm. And that's the thing. It's like not a tiny mug. It's not a big mug. Mm-mm. Yeah, but it's not proper size. It's not a proper sized mug. Yep. Fuck him. Why do guys like him try to go through this Wyatt Cenac mode where they get the little red uh, beanie where they start dressing like uh, Steve Zizou? Because there's a lot of levels to this. You got to do that so you're like accepted by all your fucking East Side loser friends. Oh, and sure. In enough. And then you make it so big that you get to just become a Republican. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Which There's... And then that moves into Farrakhan level yeah, stuff, which right. it seems like Lakeith Stanfield and those guys are into. Possibly. Who are awesome. I, I, I love Lakeith Stanfield. I don't think they like the Jews, though. They, those guys could have whatever fake... <laughs> Fake knowledge of history that they want to have. I don't know. I, I, don't know if you, I think Yacoub was a real person. That's a war between them. <laughs> yeah, Ben, do, Ben, do not get us in a. Goddamn, I'm I'm an isolationist yeah. here. Ben, do not get us in an ancient yeah. blood feud. I'm fucking. I'm Switzerland. I'm not trying to yeah. get involved with like ben, black and black people and Jews and their aliens that yeah. fight each other or whatever. Ben, they think. Ben wants us to get in the black versus Jews battle, which is one of the greatest wars of all it's time. An amazing war. <laughs> That's because I'm drinking Inca Cola. You're damn it's right. A, it's almost like Lord of the Rings. We're just a couple of we're just three <laughs> South Americans that are we don't we don't have anything to do with black on Jew crime. Mm-hmm. Jew on black crime. Yeah. Black on Jew hate goes to like they start talking about like wizards and stuff like that. Yeah, it gets silly. It's like a prog rock album. Yeah, where I don't even know how people take it like like where like that's offensive, you're racist. The guy's like talking about like Gandalf right. in, in his racist <laughs> racist theory. Yeah. <laughs> It is like Led Zeppelin. They're like, there was a man who lived in a hill, <laughs> and he controlled the entire land. It's like, and it's a guy a guitar going. <laughs> bow, 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 bow. It's like Robert Plant wrote like <laughs> like the like yeah, Black Israelites. Yeah, King Crimson came up with Black Israelites. <laughs> Where did they get all the the Black Israelites? Where did they get all the night gear? Where do they buy that? Oh, the they the, dress up like knights. Like they have knights. like armor and stuff. You can get Where do they get that? <laughs> they probably cause they go to they go to the the you know parks and they hang out with like Christopher Mintz Passy and, <laughs> and they, <laughs> they, they steal his stuff. Sure. Yeah, they walk up to a white guy. They're like, "Where do you get all the samurai shit?" Yeah, and then they just go to that store. Mm. Black people do love medieval times. Maybe they go to. I me- didn't know that. I think they do. Maybe I just made that up. But... The, the restaurant. The medieval restaurant. Time? Yeah, everyone loves medieval times. You, you do get the big chicken leg. Yeah. I well, never, okay. I don't. I've what? never been. <laughs> All right. Well, you let's box. Right. Ben, I'm gonna be like Rodman tonight. And sir, yeah. well, uh, welcome to medieval times. Will it be magic or non-magic for you tonight? By the way, also, it's a fucking turkey leg. Oh, is it? When have you ever seen a giant chicken leg? I don't know. I thought they combined two into one and suck the. I don't know that. I thought they tape yeah. them together You're just and paint it brown. Determined to have trouble. No. No. I thought it was a chicken leg. <laughs> magic or it will be magic or non magic for you tonight, sir. Uh, fucking. By the way, I'm I'm not. If I was an alchemist, <laughs> if I was a modern alchemist, I would be convinced if I combine Inca Cola and Coke Zero that it makes Jim Beam. It like does. this just makes alcohol if these two <laughs> elements combined. Pissed a lot of people off with a. Uh, with a nothing Coke Zero tweet, by the way. What'd you say? I tweeted they'd call it Coke Zero because if when you drink it, that's how many brains or that's how many brain cells you have after drinking it. Oh, it's like a 
And it's, people like love Coke Zero, I guess. And people were some people were mad at me. It seems. Well, it's just that's also just like a joke book joke. Yeah, it's like come on. Yeah, it's like retarded. I don't know. Anyway, are you pissing people off all over this country? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's behind this card right here. Don't look at the screen. Don't Is that the, the mug? Okay. okay, all right. Yeah. So, I think oh so. yeah, yeah, yeah. Ready? Ready. Oh. <laughs> Anybody know what's going on? That's his uh, his character from Ant Man. Wow! What do you what do you what do you, what do you think of yourself? Well, he's a little. Uh, wow. Mm hmm. Would you have played with you? Look at this. Pause it. Actors suck so much as he's like waiting for somebody to write him what to say. <laughs> He doesn't even he he's he's just yeah. been stalling. He's like, "Wow, uh, wow." Yeah. Line. Line. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> I know there's something about his face that really pisses me off. It seems like he's method acting to be a boxer. Like he beat the shit out of his own face. Right. Yeah. Yeah, he does have kind of like Brendan Schaub face a little bit. <laughs> mm -hmm. Just like the puffy cheeks yeah, of a he... man that's been beaten down by by fighting and comedy. <laughs> A man who got concussed and then just destroyed by the internet for 12 years. <laughs> it's the only way you get that face. A man who got CTE from the echoes of his own of his own jokes bombing. <laughs> just this, the silence the, was so deafening. The reverberation at the Addison Improv of his jokes just coming right back at right. him. <laughs> his, his terrible Asian lie impression bouncing off a wall. And destroying his own brain. <laughs> that Asian lie is just. Mwah. Oh, is it the Asian one about uh, Brendan uh, get it going to the Asian barber? The no, UFC the, doctor. He goes to the UFC doctor, and in Brendan's bit, he's like, the UFC doctor comes up to me. He's like, oh, don't, 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 bong, gang, gang, bong. and then you, if you watch an interview with the Man, guy, the guy is like totally Americanized. The guy's like literally like, my name is Brian Johnson. I work for the MMA. Yep. I'm a proud uh, uh, doctor, surgeon for seven years. Oh man! And every time he did the joke, he did it that way. Yeah. Every time. Mm. Yeah. Woof. No. Well, anyway. Woof. That guy's comedy, man. God bless him. Hope I never run into him out here at a thing. Like getting coffee or something, I just turn. I'm like, hey, oh, hey, hey, big guy, thick boy, how's the shoe wearing going? <laughs> <laughs> Brendan, you still wearing shoes? <laughs> Brendan, how's the jackets, man? <laughs> he is the he is the guy where you have to go. You have to like you're going to people. You're like, hey, good set, good set. And you go. Those sunglasses are crazy. <laughs> you see, Brendan has little sunglasses that are shaped like little crescent moons. Isn't that fun? <laughs> but in all honesty, the internet has really got to him. Oh, mm. sure. I watched... It made him worse than he was. Well, he's like spiraling. I, actually I feel, feel like at the beginning, he was kind of like normal. I kind of feel, feel bad normal now. bad at comedy. One of his, some, I, I, I think I've muted him on things, but like one of his videos came up like just like, hey guys, like thank you for the birthday wishes. And he was like hiking, <laughs> but he ends the, he ends the video. Like, it's like, I'm like, man, you might jump off this cliff. Like he's very sad and yeah. like, he's drinking a lot. And it's one of those. Yeah. His face is all like burned and like bloated from the drinking. And then it's like those videos where it's like. Thanks for the love, everybody. Just know, whatever happens to us, we're going to make it. Yeah. It's like ending with that like ominous. It's just very ominous, and he goes like, that's just, because he also doesn't speak right, so you don't sure. quite, you can't quite follow him, but he's just like, that's me, just uh, um, the Baba, just doing, from see, uh, from uh, fighting to uh, stand-up comedy, I mean, both have, uh, and then he just like, kind of ends the, he ends the video. You're like, this is like literally the last scene in Raging Bull. <laughs> he's just looking at himself in the mirror. Weirdly, he'll be, he sounds like that sometimes, but he's dead sober. And like, it's like, this sounds like Trevor Moore at 3 a.m. on his last, his final Twitch stream. Mm -hmm. This sounds like Trevor Moore fixing his deck. And yeah. I love Trevor Moore. I love Trevor Moore, too. With all my too. heart. Yeah. He's one of my favorite very, people. Very sad that he died and not many other people that <laughs> That's we know. That's what's annoying about yeah. it. No, it's really the worst. Yeah, yeah. There is something, if I like you, you are retarded enough to die falling <laughs> off your own porch. <laughs> If I think you're creatively important enough. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think that was, real quick? 
Uh, the, him, him falling? Dying? Just drunk, fell off his... Yeah. I think that's literally like he was drunk, he had a tall porch, and it was that thing where he fell and like just landed, like literally like on top of his head, like yeah. upside down. After decades of hard drinking too, it just destroys your prefrontal cortex. So eventually you just become kind of a, a drunk where it's, you're, it's, you don't, you're not conscious anymore. It's just kind of instinctual and stuff. Mm-hmm. When you, you, you've seen people that have been drinking for a while when they get drunk, they're just sort of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're like a pinball in a room. They right. just keep kind of... There's weird when you get like drunk enough for long enough. There's like weird stuff that like some drunk people fall asleep on their arm wrong, but they're so drunk they don't realize it. And then they have to get their arm amputated just because they literally like cut off the blood supply to their arm for like 12 hours. Because they've destroyed they've destroyed all the uh, neurological system. They've made it dead. Their Mm -hmm. neurological system over years and years and years of hard drinking. So like then they get drunk and then. They could like place their hand on like a like a burner mm-hmm. or something. They could like right. they could, like put their foot in a microwave. Yeah. Just watch it go. They're in like a they're in like a human. <laughs> Not me- really, but yeah, they're in like a human mech suit. You know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They become it becomes the hurt locker. Yeah. But then you're going to defuse your child's uh, hopes and dreams. Right. <laughs> just going into its room. Yeah. It's the hurt locker. It's the hurt locker. But you're trying to fix your mess of a life <laughs> without without blowing it up more. <clears throat> Is you trying to pay your tax? Is you trying to pay twelve years of back taxes and then realize you owe one hundred million dollars and then run away and explode? <laughs> By the way, this Stephen Colbert thing. Do you think Americans still watch it and they go, "Wow, he must have the tallest building in all of New York City"? <laughs> I wonder if they do think that for real. Like, I wonder if they think this is real and they don't know this is filmed at like nine a.m. People definitely do. I mean, when I was a kid, I thought this shit was real. Yeah, I think I did too for a, like for a, a period bit. of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's, let, we gotta find out about this mug. <sighs> the mug. Let's get to this guy. I hate. Mug. I hate that I'm curious. Actors and their bullshit. Yeah, can you scroll you know through to I see mean? if the mug is in there? Yeah, I absolutely would get this guy. I also, I definitely would be at Toys R Us and be like, "Hey, ma, come on, how many yards do I have to cut?" You know, to get this guy. Yeah, <laughs> that's a significant moment in American culture. That's pretty deep, isn't You're it? You're a toy. I'm a toy. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's, You're right. Uh, he's so retarded. He's just repeating. He's just repeating what, what Steven says. I think it's earlier, Ben, if you go back. <sighs> but it says this is the reveal. Well, they it's are, it's the, the reveal of his stupid and fucking so toy that he shoves up his ass. Okay, here we go. Yeah, safety, but also, you know, what that meant. You know, and what is that? What does that mean? Now it means, you mind know. Mind your cup. Mind your cup. What? You're a vessel. Nobody can fill you up. Nobody can pour you out. Go you back. Go back. Yeah, you go back. We need huh. a little. Like, this, this is maybe the stupidest thing I've ever seen so anyone fun. reveal. <laughs> uh, show show this. Show this. Yeah. Uh, and the circus. Sure. You haven't heard about this. Did you join a circus? Stay tuned. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, <laughs> no. She, Boy, uh, she's very, she's just very truly, clear. just empty vessels. About, um, just safety. actors are just you know, unbelievably mm-hmm. worthless mm-hmm. human beings. Every time I left the house, no drinking, no drugs, no sex. You get on the plane. To go to college, I had to say no drinking, no drugs, no sex before I went through security. This has happened my entire life. Um, but the drinking was a thing, and, and she always said, you know, baby, just make sure you know you don't lean about. Watch your cup, watch your glass. And uh, I, I kept that in mind, and you know, for safety, but also you know what that meant. You know, <laughs> what is that? Like he thought he was going to get day raised. Mind your cup. Mind your cup. You're a vessel. Nobody can fill you up. Nobody can pour you out. You do that yourself. Right. And so holding on to this is a reminder that, you know, it's a re- even in this craziness that's happening, you know, my self esteem is my self esteem. Right. He's uh, like he's uh, like it's a it's a reminder that I have nothing inside of me. Exactly. I am literally a, a an empty thing he's the, for other people to pour stuff he's inside the, of. He's the Damn. Louis uh, that Louis O and A thing when he's yeah. talking about actors yeah, where he says they're empty cups just waiting, waiting to be filled with something. God, I'd mm. love to just smash that in front of him like <laughs> stalker Patty's guitar. <laughs> Yeah, and be like, what are you now, Jonathan? Yeah, what are you now? <laughs> you gonna die? You gonna shrivel up? Ooh, is Jonathan in a million pieces now? God, that sucks ass. And now he has to keep bringing that everywhere he goes to play along with the with this fucking lame. You guys said he was talented, right? He, they all, yes, actors are very talented. I mean, they mm-hmm. are good in the thing. How does he memorize lines? 
That's what I've always wondered when because they are yeah. they, they 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 all seem pretty dumb and then I'm like well they memorize lines they're, well they're mm. good at just that but like even like 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 a Brando who's an incredibly talented guy he would eat like 15 pies and a whole chicken mm-hmm. and then like shit his pants mm-hmm. on like set like yeah, they're sure. retarded even people. De Niro dude I mean De Niro greatest actor probably ever and in interviews has nothing to offer mm-hmm. about anything mm-hmm. whatsoever mm-hmm. doesn't say anything about anything doesn't offer a thing how do we know he's just not on a bunch of drugs. <laughs> Cause I'm sick of that excuse for everybody. It's just too easy. I think yep. some people are just they just are boring. Yeah, yep. you know. Mm-hmm. I don't think De Niro's like on. I don't think De Niro's like Little Zan. Yeah. <laughs> if he was, he would be more interesting. Yeah, I what, think he'd probably have more to say. Uh, what, what what happened to all the Robert Shaws of the world? What happened to these guys that would go on set and like uh, you know start? Uh, they go up to the DP and cut off one of his toes. <laughs> That's, just well, those question. guys were all in. <laughs> those yeah. guys? They all raped their way out of Hollywood. <laughs> Actors used to be real men. <laughs> raped their way out of Hollywood. Yeah, because yeah, those yeah. same guys, you'd be like, he's a genius, but he did. Yeah, he did um, kill a DP. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, I I have been. It's been like I feel like I'm holding in a shit because I can't wait to dig a little bit into the Will and Don stuff in mm-hmm. the Patreon. Yeah, I gotta get to it. We've done. An hour 33 here Hell yeah. in the new studio, which will keep changing. I want to get posters and stuff, and but we got a bigger TV now so you guys can get mad. I'm, n- I'm never going to do a picture-in-picture thing because I don't want to get copyrighted by YouTube and stuff. This kind of prevents a lot of that, okay? does, definitely. So to leave me alone yeah, about that enough. stuff. They they like they like oh I recommend you just get the channel taken down, mate. Why, does it, why don't they want their channel to get uh, erased? Pull up the videos. Clearly, clearly, uh, 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 patreon.com slash lemon party. Devin also has the hate watch pod as well, mm-hmm. and he has a new channel for that. Yes, the hate watch pod, youtube.com slash hate watch pod. But on the Patreon, we also do extra video and extra audio every week, all right? Which is it's basically this show, except they uh, we kind of Devin and Jace don't get uncomfortable when I start talking, basically. <laughs> It's a different kind of show, if you know what I mean. Yeah, we can really let it fly. No, they really they become my hype men. <laughs> yeah, yeah, on the Patreon. True. They like uh, when I start go- getting into troubled waters. They uh, instead of uh, you know telling me to sit, you know they 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 throw me a treat. Yeah, throw me. They have a little doggy <laughs> treat bags. It's the episode- and every time I say a certain word, they they toss me a little bacon strip. <laughs> yeah. In my mouth. It's the episode where we don't start looking for the exits when Ben says something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There were several times this episode I thought about jumping out that <laughs> out that window. Because I'm always, yeah. I'm always trying to like kind of we like sure. do a fine line, and Mm-mm. then Ben's just like, Mm-mm. I only can go in straight lines, buddy. <laughs> yeah, it's it's like you're doing improv with Michael Richards. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like Ricky Bobby, how he can only turn left. That's me. <laughs> I can only go straight. Is that Zoolander or Ricky Bobby? That's Zoolander. Oh, I yeah. thought that. Yeah. Wait, wasn't Ricky Bobby saying he can't turn left? I think it's a, it was Zoolander. I think Ricky Bobby's thing was like. If no, he when went... he's driving, he can never turn right, remember? Oh. Because of NASCAR. So when he's in the car, if he misses a turn, he has to turn left, 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 oh, okay. and left. I'm saying oh, yeah, I guess it's both, mo- both movies. Maybe they stole yeah. that Maybe from Maybe st- stole that. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Funny, hilarious movie, by the way. It was uh, Talladega great. Nights. Yeah. Very funny. Yeah, I didn't appreciate it when it when it first came out. No, I didn't either. But yeah. that's because the standard for comedy was higher, it was much higher. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. now we have a don't now look I, up, and you know. Yeah. Now that I'm completely desperate for any content <laughs> at all, I'll go back and start being like, "Hey, Girls is pretty good." <laughs> I'm not kidding. I'll, I'll watch like, like Paul Feig got a couple of hits, huh? I'll watch like I Spy with Owen Wilson and Eddie Murphy, and I'm like, they just don't make them like they used to. <laughs> Yeah, you'll watch like old Mad TV sketches. You're like, ah, Miss Kwan, what an Asian bitch. <laughs> Just because you're so desperate. So desperate. <laughs> but if you if you are desperate for more content, go over to patreon.com slash lemon party. And um, real quick, uh, subscribe to the Clips channel. <gasps> yes, Jace. On YouTube, you can go. We've been going live on there. Yeah, Ben and Devin went live the other day. And so it's also, if we ever get the channel taken down, it's a good like backup. Yeah, it's a good backup. Thing, so. And uh, I went live on there the other day. Did you guys know this? And Gracie fell in the pool while I was on YouTube live. <laughs> I did not know that. She's fallen in the pool oh, three times you- now. And I'm literally saying on the stream, I'm like, Gracie's never... She would never jump in the pool. And then she lit- I was throwing the ball like this. And she does this thing where she runs and then she slips. But then she keeps tumbling mm-hmm. like cartoonishly over until she just like f- does a front flip into the water. She's got yeah. suicidal tendencies. 
I don't know what's getting into her. Gracie's like Sylvia Plath. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Gracie's, Gracie's putting her head in an oven. <laughs> I can't I can't find the dogs anywhere and I open up the oven and she's just inside of it like <laughs> <laughs> just raising one paw signaling me to uh, turn the ovens on mm-hmm. turn turn the gas on mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right um we're going to go over the Patreon now right. have some have have a blast